You can always tell when someone has a cat because of how they house smell. First of all, cats. Well, we don't smell. like dogs on that smells. We don't like dogs on that smells. I think I think the dog smell in the house is worse. <laughs> Thank you. What? Are we no, live? it's not. Ryan Q live. We are live, and dogs smell way worse. And that's how you know she just biased. That's Talking about true. cats got the worst. Rest in peace, my baby, my dog. But I love uh, dogs. Dog yeah. Dogs smells is. Dogs are amazing. Thank you. Come on, man. Not Let's all not dogs do this. Not all dogs. Man, it's best friend for a reason. They got that that title for a reason, right? I feel like cats are. They're okay. sneaky. Downstairs. You call their name. Uh, they look at you like, "Who are you talking to? You're not talking to me." Dogs know their name. I like the energy. Like, like you know, dog. They gotta be all up on you. Like, oh, yeah. art. They relax. Like, relax. Every like, personality. Be your own dog, person. Dog is not it's a very thing. mischievous. Song. It's pretty they cast that's nice. cool. Okay, okay. 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 And then, sorry, okay. Let's, let's introduce you. Uh, I want you to think about this. Let's introduce you. Casanova. Or you can call me Winston. Uh, I host the. Best new passive podcast. Shout out to podcast. Yeah, shout out to shout out to that. I don't know. And you wear boxer briefs. I wear box. Yo, yeah. All right. So is that can we shout? Out <laughs> no, we'll get back to that. Okay, okay, yeah. That's a part of your title. Okay, your yeah. That, I wear boxer briefs. Cool, cool. Miss. My name is Kayla, but um, people call me Killer K, also mm. known as Killer K. Kayla, not mm. Kyla or Kalia is Kayla. Mm. Yeah, I would thought Kayla. I would a lot of people you'd be you'd be surprised. A lot of people think my name is Kyla, but it's Kayla. Interesting. Okay. Yes. And sir, last uh, but not least, Parrish Drew, um, also known as SP. Uh, and yes, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, yeah. shout out to you. Yeah. Um, we went to college together. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Actor. Uh, went through some experiences. We'll talk about that, whatever. You was in um, Bobby Brown's story. Yeah, talk, talk heavy. Oh, talk heavy. <laughs> you was Bobby Brown, right? I have obviously yes, son. Sir. <laughs> yes, Oldest son. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, but we're gonna give it, we're gonna touch on everything that you guys dabble in, you know, uh expression creates all that stuff, whatever. But yeah, back to you. Yeah. <laughs> so you came in here and the first thing you said to me, I was what's like, that? Yo, what's up, one well, nice scene? You said, yo, I wear boxer briefs now. I was like, wait a I minute, said, I do I'm not confused like, by this introduction. I, said, I do not like Like I just seen you for the first time. And I'm like, why are you talking about your drugs? I said And I, then you went on to tell me well, the difference between boxer briefs and briefs and I was confused. <laughs> yeah, there's a big difference. I thought it was briefs versus boxers and you know No, there's this, this is one salesman thing called pitch. boxer briefs. And they're amazing. So boxers are like big and fluffy, just all over the place. For sure, try. Briefs are very like. Real quick, Kayla. Yes. Would you mess with a guy that wore boxers? What? Mm, that's deep. What kind of question? <laughs> that's a great question. Is it? Cause I know plenty of girls that say the guy, the guy play on his pants got boxers on, he dirty, he ain't gonna fuck him. I've heard it before. Any guy I've dated wore briefs. Okay, so it'll wear boxes. Exactly. So, so <laughs> if a guy pulls some boxes, you like. Hey. I'm gonna look at you like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me get you on a brief. Side. <laughs> oh, you, you gonna upgrade him? I'm gonna upgrade. You a queen, queen. Okay, cool. Some <laughs> some girls are gonna drop him and judge him. So I respect it. Uh, I might drop you, too, uh, okay. but if, I, if, if, if you know you wear boxes, you only need to get some briefs. Mm -hmm. okay, then talk to me and get briefs. Gotcha. Okay. Back to you. So, <laughs> boxer <laughs> briefs are apparently the middle ground. That is, yeah. that's where I lay. Those are my stomping grounds. But you that's did me. briefs for the first time now. Yeah, I don't you like it. You don't really like it. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm not built for it. Okay. So, conversation like this tends to happen on your podcast. Absolutely. Aggressively right. passive. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I'll ask you, why podcast? Why did Why did I decide to do podcast? No, the question is why podcast. It's a way more like insightful type of question. Why podcast? Why podcast? Why podcast? I don't know, because it was like a different lane. I decided mm. to get into it. I don't know. It was like, oh, I think Have I you always been a it. talker? Have you always did random conversation about boxing Uh Yeah, like? I was quiet <laughs> growing up. Okay. It's very quiet. And then I started talking more. And now I'm just like, all right, I think I can do it. Okay. So I did it. Did you ever think about, because you know you do it with two other co-hosts, did you yeah. ever think, did, was that always the vision, you wanted to do it solo, you uh, also have a heavy visual presence? Was, at first it was just me and my mans, I'm like, we could talk a lot of shit together, and then my sister came on, and that became a whole thing, so, yeah. And what made you do, like, you know, you do, like, a heavy visual presence and editing and stuff like that? So. Uh, I don't know, it was like a lane where I was like, nobody's really doing too many, like, previews and attacking that heavy, so I was like, why not? So I started doing it that way, and now we're here. Cool, cool. Um, what did I say? What? Which one I was on? What was the name of it? 
R. Kelly? Ooh, was yeah, the R. R. Kelly one. Yeah, the Ooh, R. Kelly one. yeah, we had an oh, R. Kelly boy. episode. Well, no, it's not. It was, Jesus. Are we really it was, still it was listening heavy to R. Kelly? I listen to R. Kelly today, actually. <laughs> that's Jesus. I mean, Shit, that's deep. once again, I would say, <laughs> I understand those yeah. that won't and can't. Yeah. I can. And not think about pedophilia. Yeah. And I see why people call you toxic. <laughs> what? Yeah. How we started? Like in the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> I see why people. I, wow. I, 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 I'm gonna keep. I, I'm gonna keep oh. my thoughts and my comments wow. to myself. But I see why people call you toxic. There's I no- understand <laughs> it. I have to see it for myself. But now I see. Like it. already? Like now you? If we ever get midway through, mm-hmm. you already made the conclusion. <laughs> Damn. I Wait. So are you? You listening? Don't ask me no questions. <laughs> I see. I see logic. No I questions. see logic. Thank you. I see logic. Thank you. I don't see the logic. I think it's very like, come on, man, it's, it's done. It's, it's like done separating done. the sin from the man type thing, right? Man, yeah, like I just like again, I totally understand how someone can't. Right. Yeah. I can. Like, like I don't want to meet the man. I don't care yeah. what happens to him. I'm, I'll actually make sense if somebody killed that nigga. Like, I, I would totally understand oh. it. Like, Jesus. yeah, I was listening to music. Like, we were live. Yeah. Well, I just know if it was me, I'd kill the nigga. So I can totally understand if someone else did. Right, like, like, if someone did it to my daughter, that would be the, right, right, the yeah, reaction yeah, to yeah. that. Like, Absolutely. So, I never resonated with any of his music. Okay, your mom did Ever. No. Yeah, I feel that's how really most play. people yeah, have yeah, Your yeah, mom yeah. listened to it, so you listen to it? Exactly. Usually when it's like, when your when your parents play it, you can kind of like... Get but down they did or did They didn't play it. I can see how it happens, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, man, fuck that guy. I respect it. Miss, Miss, Miss Judgy. Yeah, I'm not Miss, Miss, Miss Doggy. Mm. Why, why mm. art? Why, why paint? It's like a question. So, a little background story. Mm. Ready? So get your I've been doing. Why are you doing that? That you're not drinking. Let's take a shot. Okay. Oh, Can yeah. I have a glass of water? Please. Oh, yeah, Thank you. Thank so, you. So I'm gonna ask you twice because you were doing it first. <laughs> no, no, he was busy. Um, I started doing so art when I was like about. six. Mm-hmm. Um, and I kind of got away from it when I got to high school. I went to Gantt here in South Philly, direct. The I knew that's program. why. That's why I moved the host podcast to South Philly. So when I brought it, <laughs> <don't know> it. <laughs> so yeah, I went to Gantt it, um, music school, heavily music, heavy, heavy influence. Uh, I played piano and a violin, so I kind of got away from art. So I went. Can you still play both of them? <sighs> violin. I got a violin sitting in my closet, and I tried to play it. And it's like going piano. I can still read notes though. But I took piano for four years. After I saw Ray, I was super inspired. Oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> but I was drum line because like I just wanted to learn how to play music, but not learn how to read. Right. Thank you so much. So like I lost all that shit. Like I yeah. like man, I ain't reading this shit. Just teach you how to play Alicia Keys' diary from the way it sounds. Nigga, like I can memorize I feel like it. That's the only thing people know how to play when they play the piano. Diary. Or no? That's um, everybody. I thought it was just me. What's, 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 I can't think of any song. But anyway, um, no, 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 no. no, it's not. You want most no. death? No, that's his name. Whatever, don't fuck me. Um, if I ain't got you. Oh, yeah. Nothing, man. Yeah, yeah. everybody, everybody yeah. tried to play that, yeah. But um, when I went to high school, I, fall off so hard. I was, so like, I'm really into art and music as a whole. But uh, high school, I was into music and I did theater. And then when I went to college, my uh, option was theater. So I got into that. Um, but Are 2016. Very artsy. I, I, yeah, I'm, I, don't, I don't like to use that word, but I'm super artsy. Okay. Um, and uh, summer of 2016, I went to London, and the whole time I was there, we went. To what month? June. Okay, I started my podcast in August. This thing yeah, August. I went. <laughs> I went in June, and this was around the same time that I had gotten my heart broken. Right. All right. <laughs> So, won't he do it? <laughs> when they say heartbreak really inspires like a lot of shit, that that's that's that, it's yes. real. It's real. Heartbreak inspires a lot of shit. So, I um went to London and the whole time we were there, we went to theaters and we went to museums and I was just super super inspired by it. So, came back. What was your heartbreak song during that time? My heartbreak song? Yeah. Like maybe the one you listen to the most during that time. I feel like I don't listen to a lot of music when my heart is broken. I just feel like I just go through the motions, like regardless. Yeah, right. Y'all got um, a heartbreak song? I've never heard had my heart broken. Oh, you you had nigga? You never had your heart no, broken? No, it was never like yeah, these bitches ain't shit. No, no, like, like, I'm just, here, no like, like honestly, it, it was never like I just. <laughs> I never Ooh, just, I never had my heart broken. Casting over, it's like, they don't call me casting over. It's coming. It's coming. Let me tell you about it. The fall is coming. I don't know. Like, love. 
Love. It's some hard shit. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? It's some hard shit. But <laughs> nonetheless. Brooklyn's you know what heartbreak's on? You went through the Chris Brown and Tiger. Uh Tiger uh quits. Mm. I don't know. Off of in my zone too. Mm. Okay. Right there. Slept on thick. Do I have a Mine was trade bad decisions. That was my job. Mm. Oh, that was my shit. Okay. Do I own really it? It's one in there. You got I one. Think so. I, I can't think of it right no, now. But um You was inspired. I was inspired and I, I came home and I started painting and I, I I remember posting this one painting that I had. It was like a tree with a fist and the fist looked like uh, uh, the trump of yeah. the tree. Right. It was it was like super like Afrocentric, and uh, I posted it, and somebody was like, "How much are you selling this for?" Oh, mm -hmm. dang! You, you talking go. money? <laughs> <laughs> you talking money? Well, how much am I? Since, <laughs> since you asked, since you mentioned it, <laughs> since you asked, so it, and then it kind of just one hundred million, and that was my September of twenty sixteen. I, I was going into my senior year of college and an org that I was a part of was like, oh, where are you painting now? Cool. So I started doing like a <coughs> painting with a twist and I did my first painting with a twist at school with my organization and then people just, low key was just like, oh, you do that? Let me pick you up. Oh, I got an art show coming up. You want to be a part of it? So it just kind of just fell and I, I think that it was kind of destined for it to happen like that because it, it's, it wasn't something that I planned to do. It was just something that I enjoyed doing and it manifested into this whole business because now I have like my own website. I got a, I got a show coming up mm. June 29th, mm. 8 to 11 at the Urban Art Gallery. You guys want to come out? Or there come you go. Out. Um, yeah, so God has really been blessing me won't with the uh, won't he do it? Were man. you on the show before? No, this is my first time. Painting with a twist, I heard that before. I mean, everybody yeah, does. It's, it's a thing. It's like so. A what's the thing? difference uh, between uh, paint and, and sipping? Wait, what's the what's paint the one? Oh, paint you talking about the stripper? You talking about the wild zone? Listen, let me tell you. <laughs> so you don't want to start a stripper and twist things, like? I do not. It's like it was destined for me to put dick with the twist. Listen, I do not. Doing that. Listen, I, I saw a video. I know exactly what you're talking about because I saw it on Twitter, and I was like, "Where those is this?" Those things get wow. No, yeah. but it's always some freak ass old lady that's Absolutely. drunk. Mama gotta live too. Listen. I mean, she do, but I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't know how people do it, but I do. I'm actually working with a company now called Blurred Lines, and they um they basically people come to them to book private events or birthday parties or whatever cases. And then I'm the like go-to person to instruct them. So I do that on the weekends. So recently, um, it was like a kiddies line. So I was like instructing the paint class with babies from like three to ten, and it was the cutest thing ever. It was so cute, and they were like focused. They were focused. It was cool. So that's just shout out to the kids. Yeah, yeah. Fucking kids. Sir, why at? Um. whole bunch of different things but uh i guess it was movies movie night um my dad would bring home a bag of dvds every friday when we got off work and we would just you know sit down and watch them and we have a movie night every friday night and um it got to a point where i was no longer watching the movie for what it was but i was just like so invested in picturing myself in those films and things like that and like I tell people I couldn't wait to go to sleep to dream about what I just saw you know mm -hmm. and then uh it was just like this feeling that came over me like I, I want to act it was just that simple I remember being in, in uh, eighth grade and I played football and basketball at the time and I told one of my friends uh I said uh this is right in front of time everyone was figuring out what high school they were going to go to and I, I told him I said uh I think I want to be an actor he gave this little chuckle like oh that's right that's random you know what i mean yeah. um because i lived in a football football town so um it, it was very unlikely or very unheard of that someone would branch off from sports and pursue the arts so um i remember going back home and telling my parents and, and you know my dad was just like all right well if this is what you want to do you've got to now research high schools that offer arts and, and theater in um, particular 
you know, so that's what happened. Went back to my teachers today. I need help looking for schools, and you know, they helped out, and I applied to a school of the arts, um, Cap Calloway School of the Arts in Wilmington, Delaware, and the rest was uh, history. So. so did you feel like starting out, you had, like besides the interest, <laughs> Did you feel you had a natural knack, or was it like a, a certain learning curve that you yeah, had to adjust I, to, or like were you yeah, trash actually, at first, were you better than everybody else? Those are all great questions. Sure. Like I started uh, in church, you know, doing church plays and things like that, and like I was on stage, and again I felt like, wow, like I love being up here. You know what I mean? I love performing for for people and things like that. And at the time, I thought I was good. I thought I knew everything, but it wasn't until. I got to college and realized I ain't no shit. Mm. You know, I went to college, Point Park University, shout out to Point Park University. Point Park. Uh, and I remember freshman year, John Amplis, one of the greatest professors, actors of all time, in my opinion. I was in class, you know, reciting what I learned in high school. Like, oh, I already know what you're talking about. Da, 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 da. He was like, you talk too damn much. <laughs> Basically, oh, shit. you talk too damn much. He humbled you a little bit. He humbled the <laughs> hell out of me. So. That, that whole class, that whole course was just, he said, whatever you learn in high school, get it out your brain. Because they were wrong, you know what I mean? So we spent classes writing pages of notes, you know what I mean? Really the, the nitty gritty of what acting is, theater, character development, all that stuff. So it really, a humbling moment and really just like the time to, to learn, you know, what it really is, you know, to act and, and theater and, and you know, all that stuff, so it was, okay. it was abandoned, it's awesome. So one last thing about it as well. So <clears throat> when you watch stuff now, mm -hmm. is the, act, the acting the thing that stands out to you most, or the thing you watch the most, or the thing you appreciate the most in the yes. movie? Like if the acting's amazing, can you kind of, can everything else kind of be lackluster to say? Yeah, like I, I, I'm the actor, or yeah, I'm the I'm the type of person who loves, 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 loves character development. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like. I'm, I'm turned off to a show if, if, if it's lackluster acting um, because acting is reacting and um, our job is to be as realistic but honest at the same time. So if I feel like you're not being honest and I can't really connect with you as an audience, then I, I'm already pulled out. You know, shout out to Game of Thrones because they, they, they no, kill you, me. Oh, it, it, sorry. Mom. Game of Thrones. Oh, you, you watch Game of Thrones? I'm, I, Disappointed in that, season eight? That, I'm on season four, so I haven't got there yet. Oh, so. I'm, right. yeah, I just, we can't I just even talk about it. I just hopped on a bandwagon, you know what I mean? But oh, Disgraceful. <laughs> what are you doing, Shay? <laughs> Shay! You <laughs> don't even know what it means yet, Shay! Shay. 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 Damn. Yeah, it's because he was talking about it. I swore he was there or not. I was about to be like, yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah, my fault. Shame on you. That was a hot topic, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can we, all right, is there a way we can dance a way without telling him what happens? We're going to see. Nah, I'm going to spoil that shit, guys. Don't do that. So, but just in general, general question, he said acting was important thing. Yeah, when y'all watch things, is like, what, because I don't mean myself, I care about the writing the most. Like, if the acting's amazing, some people say the directing and the cinematography's amazing, but to me, the story is trash. The movie is arguably trash. Mm. Like, I need like a story that captivates me to some degree, whatever. Yeah. So what's just like more most important? Yeah, plot twist. Okay. Mm. So, so just the, just the plot twist. Just the plot twist. Fuck <laughs> everything else. ain't got no plot twist. The last like, two uh, minutes, my nigga. Listen, <laughs> listen, bro. That, that incorporates into the, the that, writing. That's right? the writing. Like, that's All right, fine. Writing, you know? I mean, yeah, but the writing. writing can be ass, but it got a crazy plot twist. That you might be like, like damn, that was his son. Like, yeah, nigga, that was his son. He didn't even have a son the whole movie though. Yeah. It might be, it might, I, I can't say what my favorite is, mm -hmm. but it's definitely writing and the cinematography. Okay. Um, I'm really big on visual. You know what I mean? Like, if a, the angle's trash, if the the hue is off, if it, like, I'm, I'm really hue. big on mm -hmm. The hue. Mm -hmm. It's off. I will not. <laughs> okay. But no, writing is, writing is definitely a big um, yeah. thing with me. Okay. Um, back to Point Park. So once upon a time, right, he had a nervous breakdown. Oh man. Slash panic attack. Oh, man. You? From yeah. weed. Oh Jesus. Uh, oh. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was a freshman, so you know. Hey. So once upon a time Mercy. An album called Good Kid Mad City came out. Oh, if you remember man. that album, yeah. there was a skill in time about well he had the shenanigans. <laughs> so I will say to his credit, because I don't smoke. I've dabbled in it, but back then I didn't do that at all, whatever. So, 
What I definitely knew never to do, though, was really, if I'm going to start, start with some white boys. That's what I was going to do with that. So, like, age. So, he decided, well, I'm going to jump knee deep into this life with some white boys. First mistake. Yeah. Well, so, oh they wasn't God. just smoking regular shit. They was doing oh, something, I don't know if y'all familiar with, but it's called a waterfall. So like, no, I see even that right there. Wait, what the hell? She got a whole thing to it. Mm. Okay, so so you tell them to grow up, but you don't smoke though. I mean, I know people that do smoke and they don't have panic attacks. They hit a waterfall. He was. He I don't know what that is. Okay. So <laughs> it was when he says panic attacks, he means hallucination. He was hallucinating. He gonna he gonna make sense. That's like better. No, yeah, I'm saying. Oh, so, listen, so he what happened was he was being nice. I was dead. He died. He was kind of being nice. Was it weed or was it true? So it was weed, but the way I, I can't explain it because I'm not white nor do I smoke. But uh, <laughs> it was something where, like it was like in a water bottle yeah, was, with like some type of hole in it. Gravity bombs. Some yeah, yeah, some shit. With, but basically, you do one puff, it is like. Yeah, oh, so it's like a bomb. Black, but I did, but I did, it's I did different too. from a bomb. It's yeah, different from bombs, yeah. so to speak. Supposed to say. It's a homemade. Yeah, like, so basically, oh, they do that shit all the fucking time. You're totally fine. <laughs> he did this shit one or two times, or whatever, oh, and. But because I like the joke, I was like, oh, this just phase one. Like, you don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> so he was, you know, fast. He made it worse. He made it, he made it. He spiced it. It was crazy because he had said something. I think he triggered it. He had, I was chilling on the couch and he had said something that was funny as hell. And I just remember laughing, but then I put my hands on my face and I was like, yo, I can't feel my face. <laughs> And he was like, oh, snap. His face won. <laughs> so when he said oh, that, it was super, like, dramatic. So, yes, he narrated the whole thing. No wonder you, you like, like writing, it, nigga. The, 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 the whole, oh, like, phase know. one. Each, each phase, he, he was like, oh, this phase two. It was like, <laughs> yeah, this is phase two. I'm losing my mind right now. So he was, like, like, hugging the ground. Oh, my God. He was, like, eating shit. bread. Bread. It was like a toaster. And, like, he was drinking everything. I, I, I couldn't keep it And then he just ran out the apartment fast. It was, like, a 20-minute thing, home. though. Like, yeah. He was just running around the apartment. It was a whole thing, whatever. And that was, like, yeah. one of the funny days of my life, though. Okay. The next day, we we uh, we usually played basketball, like, every Thursday or something like that. And we whatever. And I came in the gym. He was like, oh, you're alive. Like, I, I really thought that so I was going to die. You know what I'm saying? I, well, worse. what you don't it's know is what he doesn't know is that when I went home, I, like, vomited. Like, and I, he was like, calling people too. You like calling? I said, girl. call my mom. I said, <laughs> call my girlfriend. Call somebody. I would, remember Lisa and Ashley. Yeah. I, they lived on my floor, so I remember going banging on the door. I said, they answered the door. I said, hey, call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Hey, you. You poor thing. That is terrible. She looked at me and was just like, it's like she instantly knew what was going on. She said, get here. She gave me this big jug of water. That told me to sit down. I mean, there was like like Christmas lights, soft music playing. And it just like, it literally took me back down to earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, it was it was just crazy. Cause you know how they say, they say, uh, it depends on who you smoke with, who you do things with that like will trigger certain things, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> like you gotta find who the right people to do it around. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I, I, it, it was, yeah, not, that's, it, it literally, I'd never smoked again for a why? How old white ass. people? <laughs> I got how white people one time. It was crazy. They they had me do a dab. You know what the fuck that was at first? Man, and you're talking about him Damn. with waterfalls. I, I did a dab with white people. Wow. <laughs> Don't trust them, man. Like, <laughs> you're not trust them. Like, 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 we like, go for a lot of things. Not for drugs or whites. We just not build for a blowtorch out, cuz. I said, why the fuck are we using a blowtorch? Are we killing people? Like, what the hell is this? Blowtorch. Terrible. But, so, oh, speaking on, like, dumb young things, I speak about dumb young love. Yeah. Oh, I've been oh, seeing shit. a recent, uh, an a, a interesting narrative saying, like, yo, if it happened in high school, shit don't count. That's deep. What do y'all think about that? Like, he's like, yeah, because, you know, you count on your relationships or your loves, and it was before college or that span, it don't count with it. I, I, I disagree with that. Yeah, what if it bleeds into, oh, sorry, to no, true. No, 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 if, Yeah, what if it bleeds and bleeds into college, though? I think they will count that one, but I'm saying, but even if it's like a 16 to college, okay, that, like, to me, that still can shape you to who you are for certain yeah, points. Still don't count at all? I don't think I see. Um, I don't think so. I, I really do think it depends on, like, I don't, I don't know. I was 
was about to say like your first love because I feel like when you in high school, this is somebody that you're dating, but it's not like, oh, I want to spend the rest of my life with this Some person. Some people like that. Some people. Yeah. That I'm saying, Tense. like, it, no, it does get intense because you think that you're at that point. Mm. I think when you become an adult, like 18 and up, mm. you like, okay, I love this person. I want to be with this person. Mm. And I don't know. High school, and eh. I ain't never paid a bill in high school. So how am I? Mm. Like, it's like I've never experienced real life. And that's my point. Like, it's, like, it's not like. A, I don't think it. Um, interesting. That's you have, that's that, you have that perception now, but then, right, you don't. True. You know what I'm saying? And, this, that and that's my point. Yeah. Like, of course, your parents, every parent is saying that, yo, this shit ain't gonna last, shit ain't real, da da da, ain't gonna matter. And you can say now, but. You're a 16 year old, so the average high school or whatever. We're gonna be together forever. The average person, even if it's not like that, it's just like. They, they may not even be thinking about forever. Be like, yo, right now? I love you, da 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 whatever. And when people get that heartbroken out of school, it'd be real. It'll be like, oh, yeah, whatever. It was going to last anyway. It'd be devastating. It'd be rough. It's definitely. Uh, yo, you the realest so. nigga ever, though. Like, you ain't never <laughs> right, listen, 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 like, listen. You I'm passing my head. Okay, but, okay. Oh, you I, No, I'm not fraud. It's just, I... Looking I, back at it, I'm like, that shit was not real. Uh, like, I mean, uh, it was just was not real. real. When it was... Was it wasn't real. Yeah. They don't stutter here. Come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I guess uh, uh, it is subjective. It's very it subjective uh, because, like, like what he said, when you in it, you think it's the best. Like, y'all gonna be with each other forever or whatever. It's super serious. Y'all niggas can't even drive yet. Go to movies. Bruh. You know what I mean? Bruh. But like, as we're we're how, how old is everybody? I'm 37, 26. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, so she didn't call me toxic, she called me a four year old. Oh, yeah, old lady. She didn't me. You got one more. You got one more. I'm just over. saying, like, we're older. <laughs> so now we look back at it and it's just like, yeah. that shit fucking real heartbreak. Mm. That shit was light compared to what you. That's a fact. And it's light. Have, you ever had a heartbreak with somebody you wasn't even, like, officially with? No. Oh shit! <laughs> oh yeah, Can't it was a heartbreak though, but I was yeah. like really disappointed. It was. I yeah. Was it really a heartbreak though? It was a heartbreak. How could it be heartbreak if my heart wasn't all the way in it, right? Because I, oh, damn, that, and I guess that's a different conversation. Because I feel like your heart can really be into somebody, even though it's not official. That's and it's not official. You know what I mean? So maybe yeah. your heart shouldn't have been in it. Yeah. 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 I see what you're saying, but yeah. 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 I've never experienced that before. Mm. You never experienced that before. I have had this one girl, right, and Truth her name is Cleopatra. That was her nickname, so I could say it. Uh, Cleopatra. Was it's on some shit. Uh, and she was just, I don't know. <laughs> she was a whore, right? Yeah. You remember this? We, I told this story before. Okay, well, this is bad if I keep telling this story. Right, well, she was like, uh, <laughs> was show, so give me closure. she was a little hoe. And uh, so, uh, you know. Go ahead. What? Okay. Let's talk about real quick. <laughs> Goddamn whore. Cleopatra Jones. Whore ass. <laughs> but no, she was just like on campus, like giving top in the party. And oh, when wow. I found out, I was like, damn. That's a whole. I had plans. <laughs> on that ass. I had plans with you. Like, so now this is the true testament. Well, one of the true testaments, see how invested you were. After you found out she was topping off in the middle of the party. That's crazy. Did That's I still crazy. try to shoot? Yeah. Nah. You, it was clean cut. Cold nah, I ain't even try. I mean, it was okay. just too many people knew. Mm. But th does it matter when other people know that somebody that you like is a hoe? Let's talk about it. Yeah, it's pride. Baby. It's like body counts. Does that matter to people? It's all about pride. Like I feel like mo I think the average dude <laughs> would care more about a girl fucking three people he knew than thirty people he didn't. The facts didn't. Know. Yeah. Like that's like damn, these yeah. three niggas. Like, Cool with them. Like, I know that niggas. niggas like, yeah, whatever. Like. So, do you think it was more so pride with you as to why you topping off in like, a party? Wow. That's uh, wild. yeah, that was it was wild. That like, is wild. She didn't even have no like body to cover her up. She was just like, oh wow, doing it. Yeah, Poor she thing. Was just, maybe she was in love. I don't know. She had nice eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she was. I don't know. It wasn't pride. It, it might have been pride. So you don't believe in closure? No. I don't. What you mean? Like. People say, oh, I need to have this last conversation with this person to really, to get out my feelings and tell them how I feel. That's bullshit. I don't, I feel it's like if I was in a relationship, we broke up, that shit hurts. 
Mm-hmm. But you gotta thug it out and move mm-hmm. on. Thug like, it out, queen. And I'm the person, we break up, you won't ever hear from me again. Okay. You will mm. not. As much as... Is that stubbornness? I think it's, it's definitely stubbornness, <clears throat> it's pride, and it's just Ain't me a, having my... Ain't nothing wrong with some pride. <clears throat> I got a lot pride, of it. Pride in the race I will, days. listen, I will not lie. I got a lot of it. But it's, it's just you me know, it's having to move on. I gotta move on. Um, so I don't yeah. think closure. I, I just feel like if you break up, if you, somebody break up with you, you break up with somebody who's offering you a drink. Um, oh, I did something. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, um, team thing was. <laughs> <laughs> there's no reason for you to reach. Uh, let me just reach out to him. So you believe it can, it can never be productive? I'm not saying it can't be, okay. but I'm just saying I don't believe that it's a purpose for it. Like I just don't believe that closure is a thing. For okay. some people, it is. Okay, so I like this. So, do you think, because I think you're saying, of course, like, yeah. it isn't necessary, maybe, but do you think that if certain people don't get certain things off their chest in a certain manner, that it can be avoided? I'm saying it can't move on, still be great in some way or whatever, but it can be like a damn, like, I don't know. And I don't know what they would yeah. do to get that off, but like. And, and I think that's just my thing. And I'm speaking from my, of course, my you perspective, obviously. Yeah, 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 my perspective. Yeah, so I can't. Then I think about it. I can't know. That's not move. But like, <laughs> that's not move. But I can't. I, I guess it was a little harsh for me to say it doesn't exist. To me, it doesn't yeah. exist. My narrative is I don't think that it exists yeah. because I mean, personally yeah. don't feel like. When I, when me and somebody aren't together anymore, that we need to have this whole big discussion after we broke up. Gotcha. You know, this big discussion have to it happened when we broke up. Right. You know what I mean? Have you been in love? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. She says I was, yeah, trying, I was, I was trying to. Yeah, sure. But then I then I counter and said that the heartbreak break. Heart, you getting heart? Oh okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So my question to you again is, so, well, not the question, but sometimes closure is the person telling you I found somebody else or I moved on that that's that can be closure too for you for you you know what I mean like I know for like an explanation kind of yeah for experience I had someone tell me there's somebody else I found somebody else though it hurt it was just <clears throat> more motivation just to I I, I gotta move on because that does happen like, when people like yeah. separate or break up whatever yeah. it is like a lot of times, a sense of limbo mm-hmm. of like, are we gonna make it work? Are we gonna just chalk it? So I can just say like, once is that one last exes? conversation? Hmm? Y'all follow y'all exes? No, I, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Like don't. On, like social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I do. I chose not to. I chose not to for my weird reasons of respect for the person I'm with because it's like, if I seen that the person present person I'm with now is liking her ex's pictures or on IG which I think is kind of people say it's not a big deal but I'm like why are you liking you want to know niggas hey listen because uh, I'm, I'm seeing you like he's, you know, he's talking about he's in a relationship they, you know what I mean speaking like single wise like, single wise no I don't care I don't I, you'd like yeah. you want to like but like in a relationship I, I feel like fair. it is fair I, yeah. I cut off I try to cut off everybody you yeah. know what I mean and it's fair Exes, that is. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But, you know. So if, you, if, if it was your girlfriend and she was liking her ex's picture, you wouldn't care at all? There's a reason why she's liking him, right? Oh. Because I will say that when I was younger, I used to have this fucking art all the fucking time with, like, my girl back then. Like, <clears throat> I was like, and I can admit, I used to entertain that. I never cheated, per se, mm-hmm. but I entertained certain shit in certain regards or whatever. In hindsight, I realized I brought a lot of shit on to myself with little dumb shit like liking pictures. I know a lot of people say, it ain't a big deal. But no, like, if I'm liking pictures some titties. Like <laughs> it is what it is. But you know, females think that. So now I will say I like I don't like pictures, but like I am more aware and conscious of what I do like because everything. First of all, I don't like most shit in general, or whatever. Because I just don't give a fuck, whatever. Yeah. But like, so if it's a girl, I, I either know her or it's something like I'm just not gonna like the pictures of titties and ass anymore. Like it's, it's not gonna do. It. And then if this is my ex or if it's my like something in that regard, hell no. Like, yeah. It's like because what? Why? Yeah. 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 So she, I, I can see from yeah. both sides. Grant, it's not that deep. That don't mean I'm really fucking isn't. somebody. But, but I, I mean, at the same time, I get it. What you gonna say I was going to say, as a female, when you see, when your man is liking his ex's picture, like, I'm a female, so I know how females think, mm-hmm. right? So, to her, she know you liked her picture. In her mind, oh, this nigga want me back. Right. As your girlfriend, I don't want another female. Right. The joint that you was just 
not just mm. with, but the Joe you was in a relationship to think that you want her because mm. that's not the case. Mm. So to calm that situation down, to eliminate all that, just don't fight. It's unnecessary. Well, that too. But even if you do, it's unnecessary. Yeah. And it's like you said, but some, people argue that if you're not interacting, why follow? So I get it from I get it from both sides. And that'd be my main point with things. So how about this? Yeah. Yeah. Do I feel if you love someone, you never stop loving them? I had a conversation with that. Gosh, dang! You said what was the question? If you love somebody, do you ever stop loving them? I think Cleopatra Jones. Oh yeah, you answered. All right, all right. Hey, 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 I would say you don't stop loving them. Because mm. no. I do believe that's fair. That <clears throat> I believe in general, love what you make it. If the love is there once one time, but always gonna be there, you can not fuck with them. You can probably possibly hate them, or whatever. I don't want to see them. I know we not good with each other. Whatever happens, I know better in some regard. But like, yeah, that's what I love. You're like something happens. Like I say all the time, like, I don't fuck with my cousins. Like. <laughs> but like, like I don't, that's crazy. But in all reality, if something happened to them, girl, it would be like I'll be taken aback because we fucking spent years and years close. Yeah. So like the love is still there, of course. I say I don't love them anymore. But the love is always there. Like it's always there. Like, yeah. I think that's different cry. than romantic you know, love, though. Uh, possibly, yeah. <laughs> possibly. But so I do. Yeah. No, I think that's why I said I think love yeah, I think is love is I don't really believe yeah. in soulmates personally. I don't believe in like the one. I just think love is love. You express how you want to express it. It happens how it happens, and it's literally what you make with anybody. Some people don't love their fucking parents, like because of certain shit that happened. So like, or yeah, so I don't know. But so thoughts. Can you? Is it always there? or Does it leave eventually? Yeah. Are you mean, looking at listen, me? Listen, <laughs> looking look. at me like, yeah. I know, because I don't know, because if, if <laughs> Queen Tessa like comes knocking on my door, I'll be like, oh, man, mm-hmm. that's crazy. And then I just pop some Tic Tacs in the mouth, like, look, what we do? Yo, Cleopatra. No, I do No, I guess, I guess forget love that. is always love. I guess. Yes. I think it's more so having love for somebody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I okay. think. Yeah. Because they're, they're it's, I thought about my, that too, like in love and love. My first love, I I still have love for him. Okay. Like I don't have any animosity towards him. I still have love for him. I and following next. I'm tripping. This <laughs> nigga right here. Oh, you a cheater, cheater. It's like seventh grade. It's uh, seventh grade. Oh, <laughs> 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 right, that's the one that you can follow. Like, that's cool. You look like a picture and everything. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's more so. It goes and below. You want. Have love for an ex, but not love them. Like I don't. I think in love, love, and having love for right. someone. So that's another thing. I don't believe in that either. What? I don't believe like the in, whole in love or love. Really? No. I just think love is love. You don't think they're no, two different? No, it's so strange. two what different. Ain't he strange? Yeah. Right. You act in you, love. You act in love. What is <laughs> happening? You know, what is this? I think yeah. love is love, Atrocity, man. Atrocity. That's All what right, it I, is. All right, again, <laughs> I see your logic. I see your logic as far as I love. You're listening love. to me. Instead of attacking me and constantly like other people I, I know in the world. But at well. the same time, I would be lying if I tell you there wasn't no distinct difference. <clears throat> Someone broke it down to me like a long time ago. Like groom like, husband to be. If you Fiance. go to if you go to Foot Locker, right? Okay. And you see a pair of shoes. Pair of okay. shoes. Love is. Oh, I'm gonna get these pair of shoes for such and such because it's their it's their birthday. Okay. In love is. Whoa, I can definitely picture such and such in those shoes because of the the colors and her favorite color being. The accent, which is swirling in the bottom of the sneaker, and da 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 da, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know what I mean? But to Q is, hey, look, to Q is there. What size? Yeah, look, size, size. The fact that I even thought about you. <laughs> right. right. It's, uh, I might get home. I might get home. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit too accurate, but no. But I, my rebuttal to that is mm-hmm. back to one thing I said is how you express it. Everybody is fucking different. Everybody expresses things differently. So okay. I think in that instance. Some people are just naturally thoughtful or oh, impulsive buyers or whatever. Right. These niggas don't give a fuck about plenty of people or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But they spend money, all right, like, yeah, you probably yeah. like them shoes. Like, but, and, but still be an asshole to that person or whatever. Right. So, like, yeah. to me, like, buying something, I wouldn't say it's a testament of, like, being... Like, it doesn't animal. equate to... Yeah. I, was yeah. like, Ubik, I was in Ubik, real quick. I was in Ubik yesterday, and some guy was with his girl, and, and she, he was like... 
these, these shoes on the wall, and he was just like, you want them or no? <laughs> and I was just like, what is happening? <laughs> and she was like, I mean, I told you I ain't like that color. He was like, girl, do you want them? Or no. Was, and she was just like, yeah. He was like, all right, yeah. Size, I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. So like, it's like that. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I feel like most people say, like, I'm aware it's an unpopular opinion. I understand. Q, are you in love? I love my girl, yes. Okay, you didn't answer. Like I said, I don't believe Ooh. in this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I said, I don't believe in that. Okay. Way. Now, is that love... I can say I'm in love, but it's all the same yeah. shit to me, though. So but, uh, okay, is that love different than how you love uh, uh, a female friend of yours? Or, like, a female <coughs> cousin? Or okay, so this, this, how, this is how we're both that with. Yeah. I feel everybody can have... So, which is supposed to be the... This way people express it, like the in love thing, right? That's supposed to be, like, the highest regard of love? Pretty much, yeah. But, right. what happens... So, that's supposed to be higher than your mom. Or higher than your child. Technically, wait, wait, technically, wait, wait, wait. Q is colorblind. <laughs> what is happening? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is like? What are the levels of love? Why is the in love? That's why I say love. What you make because like, I love oh, whoever, I, tell you, I love tell you. everybody right. like, that I love. Facts. Like, it's like, Facts. of course, my mom is my mom, and right. like my part of my part. And then when I have my kid, that's gonna be like my fucking kid. So what right. I look at is like, who's really more important than my child? Would like, you? Okay. It, so, okay, I'm sorry. All right, right. Let me get him. Oh, no. so, <laughs> hey, like, hey, I was... so the in love Wait. part, there's, there's a distinction. The things you do to your girl, would you do that? I'm not going to talk oh, about else. Yeah, that right. Like that? <laughs> your auntie. Would okay. you do that to your auntie? Unusual. Well, I flip my auntie. That's where you going with this? <laughs> nah, not really. I'm not, I'm not trying to, because there is, you, there's just things you do differently <clears throat> out of love with your female. You know what I'm saying? That you wouldn't do with a family member, or you know what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. To that's me, what the, love is is like compromise, sacrifice. I think about your feelings over mine at times. Trust, commitment, making love. And I feel, I don't feel it. No, you could do that. I don't like making you can love. Do that with, what is making you can do that, love? You can do that with who? So who? You can do that with. You can have that. sex with anybody. I didn't like, say that though. It's having sex, making, making love. love. Making love is just great fucking sex, yo. Like, I'm not fucking rolling. Like, bitches that even get made love all the time, they don't give a fuck about you. He's had some bomb ass dick for you. And like, so my point. So my the components I just laid out: trust, commitment, sacrifice, right. yeah. compromise. You can have that little with anybody in the world, whatever. But can you say now like, the only thing you got is making love left? It's like nigga, what? Like, that's that's the only component that you got left. Like. Yes, that is the only component I have. Yes, that is the well, argument. Still made that. I don't know. And that's the one thing I'm going to hang like. That's determines the art. You can do everything else with everybody, but whoever you make love with, boom. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, being in love, is, I feel like you're in love with that person, who that person is, and yeah. the, their, like, I don't even want to get to like the soul of the person. Like, you yes. in love with their being, their yeah. whole being. This is somebody that exists that you feel like is for you. Had that yet. That's probably that's why I say it's the best thing in the world. It's the best thing in the world, but when it's it's over, when I look at it, I think (laughs) I literally think my girl, as much as she pissed me off at times, I think she's as perfect of a partner I can find. I think we balance each other. I can see me and her together if all things go well forever in a sense. There it is, but you're saying it. You're saying it without saying semantics. it. Semantics. Semantics. Oh, all right, semantics. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. uh, try to jump me. <laughs> try to jump me. Some right, <laughs> niggas in love, <laughs> y'all. Well, I can't hear about tomorrow. I'm be single, so it don't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about this? Have y'all ever dirty Mac before, fellas? What does that mean? What? What is happening? Dirty Mac. I need definitions. Uh, yeah, yeah, dirty yeah, Mac definition. means, for instance, Lord, you talking to a girl. Mm-hmm. Like having a conversation, hasn't? It? And you know she got a boyfriend. You know she talking to a guy, some shit like that. He like, you fucking home. Like, what's up, John? Like, really? Oh, really? Like, <laughs> disgusting, <laughs> Mac. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to say, right? This is interesting. So, like, my whole life, I generally had to wrote the principle of, like, I don't mention niggas, and I hate when nigga ever mention me. I just think that's corny and weird or whatever. Mm-hmm. Recently, I had a thought, because this is another, another point this whole discussion is when I, when I, when I have a son, basically, right? I only make sons. So I had this boy, Junior. I would tell him, like, yo, son, girls don't want to, they just don't want to seem like hoes, but a lot of them are hoes. So, a lot, yes, miss. So, I had an experience back in, like, high school, and I eventually fucked her later on, whatever. But back in high school, I used to try to, like, be respectful because she always had a boyfriend, whatever. 
But then as I, I realized later on that she was just a hoe, but she didn't want to seem like a hoe. And it was just me being too respectful of the situations. But if I was just dirty Mac the whole time, like, because I always knew our nigga was corny. Like, he was trash. Yeah. But I was like, well, I should, boy, all right, cool. You must be in love. I ain't want to say shit about it. Like, but if I would have dirty Mac off the rip, I could have yeah. been it. But you know what happened? Lesson learned, fellas. She had a boyfriend later on. I hit then too. Oh, so I was yeah. like, I could have oh, hit from the very beginning. Yeah. So my point, I'm telling my son, yo, you need dirty Mac and. Don't be crazy, because right. some niggas take it to the extreme. Yeah. But there ain't mad guys hold this on. It's productive. And also, a lot of women are hoes, but they just want to seem like hoes. Like a lot of girls want to cheat on their boyfriend, but they don't want to yeah, like they don't want to be open about the cheating. They don't want to like, you know, they wanna fuck you the first time they meet, but they don't want to like be they don't want to be forward about fucking what that women first do time. No. Hoes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, general thoughts on these, you know, couple uh, points. You don't got no whole friends, miss? I, I ain't saying nothing. I want to hear what they got. No, I'm just <laughs> well, I, you know, was around the narrative mm. of if you don't know. Around the narrative. It wasn't me saying it. I was around. If you don't know the guy, then it doesn't matter. Holy shit. That's but, super facts, though. But if the guy that she's with is... Or if you don't fuck with him, because if you know him, you yeah. don't fuck with him. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. So, so but it, you know how they such a sister? I don't fuck with him. Yeah, I really don't. Right. Right. So it's like if you don't know him, or if you do know him, you don't mess with him. Right. <laughs> then that's the the exception. Um, but yeah, so if, if if you don't know him, or if you do know him, and you just don't don't mess don't with like him, him. That's that's the exception. Uh, so you a dirty man. I think there was one time I think there was one time uh, I like to be honest I think there was one time where I did know the person mm, Damn, um, later on in life you out of pocket mm, nah no. I, I wasn't out of pocket it was like you I, don't I, trust this nigga pee yo <laughs> I, I didn't know him yet but I knew of him but I didn't care because I was like he can't beat me Let's go! Let's go! Fuck this nigga up into the day, like. But, but actually, we became to be good friends. <laughs> and I, like, I was steps. like, dang, dog, like I was really That's deep. okay. That's but like deep. that, you know. But then you grow, you mature, you, you know. Terrible. So that was. I, I'm gonna ask you one question. Yes, sir. You about to get married? Yes, sir. Can we get into the legend of Paris in college, or we gonna let let it be? Yeah. No, I'm I'm, all, I'm I'm always. I mean, this he used to be catching rack, yo. He's he, 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 he yo, on these, these hallways, these classrooms. Oh, he used to be catching rack in these these That's college crazy. these college streets. I'm gonna leave it at that. But so you a dirty <laughs> man? Wait, like, how old are you? Twenty six. You might get married. Yes, sir. Yeah. Gonna get yeah. to that too. Like you a dirty maker? Yes. Proud? <laughs> yes. So you're not yes. professional. I'm not a professional dirty maker, but like, all right, yesterday at Sips. Damn, all right. Off the uh, mic. We was, Fresh off the we mic. Was, we was, I was in line, and the line was crazy, and I was like, it was a girl, she was standing there. I'm like, all right, look, I'm drink. You know what I mean? Like, what's, what's your drink? You know what, da da da. She's like, oh, uh, well, you know, my boyfriend is here, da da da. I was like, oh, wait, so y'all in the line outside? Yeah, we was okay, in line. Gotcha. My boyfriend was like, over there, and I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I was like, is he buying you a drink? And she was like, no, nah, he ain't buying me a drink. I'm like, why you with a nigga that ain't gonna buy you a drink? Come on, let's go! Like, and it was, it got nasty. It was nasty. And what did she say? Filthy Max. I'm, she was just like, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you talking too much. You took too long. Like, you took too long. Facts. And that's it. Facts. And I was just like, all right, well, I get it. Okay, have a good day. You know what I mean? Like, and that was it. But yeah, Jeremy Mac, like a motherfucker. Crazy. How can you? I mean, how can you not go? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> how could you? How could you not? not? As, as a man, I mean, as a man, it's just it's our kind of like just what we Sorry, do, nature. whether it's yeah, intentional it's or not. I do believe that. I always like, say, you know, if a girl ever cheated on me, I'll never be mad at the guy unless I know him. Right. But I'm right. like, he did what he's supposed to. He's yeah. single or yeah, whatever guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You the whore. Yeah, like, you the one that did it. Like, yeah, like, I understand why these girls be fighting over. Overdue. Yo, this is the like, dumbest shit ever. Did. This new wild. trend of women yeah. posting shit of them Why? being the side chicks. Yeah. It's so yeah. dumb. Yeah, the finger speech. Yeah. Yeah. Bro code's a thing, right? No. Bro code? Is that part of bro code? Oh. Wait, what happened with you? Bro code's not a thing. I don't believe in bro code. Wait, Meaning, wait, wait, wait. I like. Oh, bro code. Yeah, like, what you mean? Like, we oh, just oh, said dirty right. macking is. Okay. 
So, like, you're, like your actual man's though? Yeah. Oh, bro, bro, yeah, that's bro code. Right, that's bro code. It's not a bro if I yeah, don't know you. Right, some people try to stretch it that way. I'm oh, sure. No, no, no. Bro code. For sure, for sure. Bro, that's okay. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Dude, you, I, was, I was like, man. Walk out. <laughs> nah, I was going to finish. I was like, dang. I'm going to finish. I'm not going to talk to you again. You said, yeah. I'm about to get married. What's your talking about? Bro code. Ain't no bro code. can't invite you to the wedding. All right, so how about this? You know, you better get married. Fuck these bitches, but. So you been in love and stuff. Who says I love you first? Mm, I did. Mm, all, all of them. <laughs> you, you did it first? Yeah. Every was, single time. Yeah. yeah um, first day. Yeah. yeah to this day. To this day. <laughs> I, we should have. Love to you for I, I did. I did. Um, I, I feel like. What uh, made you say it? Recently. Like the recently. Oh, okay. Recently, um, you know, I was caught up in a mix messing with multiple women at the same time. <laughs> the legend. And one of them was, you know, my wife to be, and uh, she was under the impression that we were exclusive. But did you say this? No, we didn't. You want to clear? But at the time, at the time, you know what I mean. How can you? I mean, how can you fault a uh, uh, shout uh, the woman not listening? A woman who just believes that you know because this guy is telling me everything that he would tell me if we was in a relationship. You know, how, how do you blame her for not thinking that, you know? What I mean? But but we'll get to that. The we'll reason to that. I yeah, blame okay, her okay, okay, okay. Continue, continue. Right. So, it wasn't until I got caught up in the mix and, and, and you know, I was, you know, essentially caught, you know what I mean? I found myself naturally fighting for her and to get her back. And I was just like, you know, it's like, I love you. Like, you know, I love you. Like, I love you. Like, I'm going to fight for you. You know what I mean? Like, type thing. Like, Shit. I don't care. Like... <laughs> I, it, maybe it did take me getting caught up in the mix to to realize that, but that's like that. that's you know that's what it was. And, and most ladies actually, I really won't say it unless I really feel it. Okay. You know what I mean? Really feel it. How many exes you have? That's a question I ask people. Okay. Uh, exes. Mm-hmm. Mm, three. Would you you say I love you to all of them? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You miss. Oh, you miss. I was gonna say that, like, you know, we was talking about the high school thing, but having high school don't matter. <laughs> so technically, technically, just one X thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, what was the first high school one? Like, what grade? Oh, that was freshman year. Last Hell no. Oh, la- lasted until te- my freshman year of college. Oh yeah. Okay. First I, semester I, freshman year of college. I need a count. You think it counts? First, first, what? That? What's so that? freshman year of high school to freshman year of college. Uh, yeah, oh, I sophomore year high school. Know. Sophomore year high school to freshman year college. I think that counts. Y'all? Yeah. Freshman year high school to sophomore, sophomore year? Sophomore year of, of high school to freshman year college. Like first semester freshman year. And that's the duration of our relationship? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right. So in your dealings, who says it first? The guy. Mm. And it's not even like on some... Oh, he gotta say it first, cause I'm the girl. She said, "City girl, summer for you." I don't don't even like them. That's the crazy part. I do like Meg though, but um, yeah, I've never. So when this is said to you, what goes on through your mind? You know, pick a time. Confusion. Mm, That's deep. <laughs> Every time? What was that nigga doing? Yeah, however many times. <laughs> no, no, cause um he said I love you and I was just and he was he was just like, You don't have to say it back right now. That's a good line. That's, 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 that's a good line. line. That's oh, that's so he amazing. was like, You don't have to say it back <laughs> yeah. right now. Just let me you know, just let me head this. But that shit brave. <laughs> and I was <laughs> But you were wild, bro. So it was kinda like when he said it, I'm thinking to myself, Well damn, do I I love him too, but I'm not. I don't want to say it, but it's like sometimes you don't want to be real with yourself in certain situations. She said, "I think I love you too." <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to take you to, to actually <clears throat> say it back to him? Um, it was an obligation. Mm, oh shit! Mm. Because that you know, God, God, fuck God, God, God. I, I just, I mean, I'm, I'm asking really, for my, you know, so I just, I just want to know, like, you know. Because men will say it, and then maybe a week later, the girl will will say, "Well, I, I always loved you." 
I just didn't know how to say it. Oh, man, I never spicy. said that. Okay, okay. Uh, but I, I recall if it was one of them things like he said I love you and I was confused and he was just like you don't have to say anything man. you don't have to do it just love you live in this right. and then as time went on right I was like how long was that I can't recall I can't recall over a month no under it was under a month cool. yeah it was under a month but I think for me it was just one of them things like me taking in what was said to me. That's why I said confused. Like, not, like, confused. Like, oh, this nigga tripping. Taking but, aback, yeah, I, I was really taking it. That's what it was. I was just taking a bet. I can relate. Like, you know. What's happening here? I'm oh. king out here in East Street. <laughs> you know, my girl, she said she first day we met. So, you know, no, but she did say it first, though. Mm-hmm. And I was Word. taking a bet. But, yo, I'm not regular anymore. Oh, my fault. Oh, uh, okay. You didn't know. Right. Nah, I ain't. You know what? Look, we got it. It is what it is. Like, Ryan Q. Live. But, um, <laughs> so, she said I was taken aback, but I was more so taken aback because I was like, you know, I've always lived, was raised and lived by to not lie to women, whatever, um, especially ones you care about. So, I was like, no, I'm not going to say it. So, my first initial reaction, like, damn, like, I'm not certain, so I'm not gonna say it right back, like as a reaction, cause I don't want to be wrong and me, you know that, that, whatever. So I was like, wow, all right, damn, like, dick must be fine. Sorry, no, no, but I think it was like, all right, damn, all right, she's really down, like it's really like this and that. So you know, I don't know exactly how long it wasn't long after, but I just know my whole thought process was, you they like make sure it's real and certain, cause you so you don't play with this girl's feelings. It's clear, cause you know I don't like playing with girls' feelings uh, intentionally. Or leading them on a certain way, not like in general. So now she's saying she love you. Be even more certain to be like, all right, if it's real, say it, whatever. And then, um, so then I said it, whatever. How'd you feel? Uh, I felt. That's another question. I felt. I don't know. I don't know. I can't even yeah. word. But it was like, oh, it is what it is. We good. Now. Did it feel did it feel natural when you said it to her, or did, or did you feel like it was forced because she said it? Yeah, it wasn't forced because, like I said, I, it wasn't. First of all, I I guess in, in hindsight I knew what it was because it was a bitch I didn't love. I would have been like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now why you lie all these females, bitch? <clears throat> Cause it fit in this instance, cause a girl that I didn't love at all ever told me she loved me. He's like, you know what? My first thought right now is like, <laughs> but yeah. So, so I think that's like in hindsight, I thought that was the first tall tell sign that I did love because I, I even thought about all oh, that shit I just said. Whatever. If I didn't love her, I don't think how you put much those. I'd be like, mm. you tripping. Mm. Like I don't know where she got this from. Whatever. Cause people miss people be on the wrong wave all the time. Whatever. So whatever. But um, yeah, yeah. Um. You said something I was going to stop you at. What was it? Da, 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 da. Side note, commercial break. I'm terrible at these. I always forget. If you're listening this far, subscribe. Like, subscribe <laughs> to oh, Apple, SoundCloud, YouTube, right on Q Live, oh. right side on QUE, never the letter, right on Q Live. Search, subscribe, send it to your mom, preferably, or your uh, sexy auntie. Whatever you want to do, whatever. Follow Q on Twitter. Yeah, that too. Very entertaining. That's a fact. Very entertaining. This nigga is wild. (laughs) Very entertaining. Problematic. Allegedly. Can I, can I, the screenshots? Screenshots, yes. They're a thing. Yes. They're a thing. I was like, yo, when I was coming here, I was like, honestly, this shit going to be dangerous. Like, I know (laughs) niggas, and the thing is, I think niggas just be wilding for, for just no reason. But I like it though, cause like motherfuckers is crazy. The screenshot takes are are like interesting to catch twenty two because people who are aware of them try like what regardless they aware of them. It seems like what I've learned during this shit is like everybody isn't aware of what come out their mouth or whatever. So like people say certain shit, then when they get certain reactions to it, they're confused. It's like oh yeah, you it's, said it's, that yeah so, I know it's no people confused. heard it. I got a question. Um, so with the screenshots, yes, do people text you the, those things? Randomly. Oh wow, interesting. Wow. As they listen in, they would just text me like, you know, you don't listen to this episode. Yeah. Like, you know. I do. Yeah, this nigga talking about Cleopatra Jones and shit. Like that's you know, they would say something like that. Yeah. Can, can people are people listening right now? No, it's just not. Right. It's not live. Okay, okay. gonna air it later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what happened. But you know, I had a situation one time when people thought I was like making shit up and making fake stuff or coercing. <laughs> Into certain <laughs> matches, but no, people yeah. literally just text me. Like, like, like you do with anything. You watching the game, you're live tweeting it. Like, yeah. yo, LeBron just dunked the fucking ball. Like, it's not. That's not the same out. thing. I don't take that. That's not your style. You don't do fake shit. Yeah, they don't yeah. whatever. Um, how about this? Uh, do, 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 do. 
if you found so you're in a relationship now, you know, fuck these hoes. You've been in relationships before. I mean if I've heard someone told me before, they said, yo, people think being broke puts a certain stress on a relationship, but even like a certain random influx of money can fuck up things just as much, if not more, or whatever. So just think about a relationship. Do you think if someone if you just had fifteen thousand dollars dropped in your life, would it make things complicated in a relationship? I feel like you can't speak on that because it hasn't happened. Like, it's really hard for me you to think of scenarios like uh, come, come I'm on. all about hypothetical on. scenarios. Yes, please, go with the hypotheticals. Every, hypothetical. I see she doesn't have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go with the hypothetical, kid. Yeah, this I whole show is hypothetical. Because you can say, oh, $15,000 drop it to my leg. Oh, I'm gonna stick with him. But you really don't know that no, shit. Not even that per se, but it's like, that's like, for instance, some people yeah. think about money differently. So just the simple fact of like, what we doing with it? It's like we're not even breaking up, but what we about to do with this shit? That can cause like a possible breakup. It's like, oh yeah, like okay, I want to buy a property. Saying. I want to save. I, uh, I, I want to go on a trip. Okay, that, yeah, that's okay. what you're saying. Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. So I guess to extend on the question, your relationship, fuck these hoes, your past well, relationships. Do you think? Are stop you giving me that label? Yeah, you know, I just, I just listen. Okay, fine. So, like, are you more of the follower or leader? Are you good with finance? Because those things tend to dictate the type of conversation. Like, are you the more, are you a good with finances? And are you, like, the more alpha personality? I have an alpha personality. Okay. Um, I've gotten better with finances. Really? Stop it. <laughs> um, I've definitely gotten better with it. I'm not going to say I'm, like, I feel like I can be submissive. Mm, but you worthy of the submission. Not even, not even saying all that. I just, I just feel like I can be submissive, and I feel like if I'm with a person and I know because when we're the, we we together, so we already know each other's goals when it comes to finances. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm with you, and I know you want to invest in a business that you have, or you want to invest in stocks. You want to put it to good use. We're not gonna have a falling out about that because that's what type of time I'm with. You know, so you I'm gonna take I mean? the whole 15k into my shit though. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm trying to invest. This though. is this is this, this 15k came to both of us. Is did that it come saying? to one person or did yeah, it come like, to the group? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Mm. Right, that is a good question. I didn't think about that. Right. <laughs> you just throw shit out there. Right. All right, all right, all right. Who's who's that, both scenarios. Both scenarios. That's what I'm saying. Both of you. Both of you. It fell in both our laps. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
do you desire to put this anywhere? Do you desire to spend a certain okay, amount? Queen blah, blah, blah. So that's what it is, you know. So financially, it's just like I respect her enough to know, you know, what we're going to do with it. And I also respect her that she respects me to even ask me if there's anything, any percentage that I want to use for such and such. Okay, my okay. question is, yeah. um, what in regard are you the alpha then? What'd you say? Because she's the alpha, which is fine. You know, just making the ultimate, when it comes to uh, decision making, okay. as far as what we're going to do generally. You're the alpha, gotcha. No, King, King talk. King talk. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, but he wanted to make plates. Wow. I think women, listen, honestly, honestly, <laughs> hey, yo, 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 can I be real? Women probably, <laughs> <best> <laughs> huh? women probably make the best offers. Women probably make the best offers. I take. Probably. Queen of Dragons. Well, she died, though. She died. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk. Actually, so, first of all, are you drunk? Spoilers don't even fucking count. It's, shit is over. Like, I don't oh, how would you do this? Why would you That's come crazy. here? I know. Why, why, why would you come here? Why would you, here? Here why would you leave the house? Yeah. Yeah. Finish that shit. <laughs> That's your story. Wait, you see how he tried to switch it away? Like, it's like, yeah, it's his fault. It's his fault, though. Like, it is. Like, how is that his fault? You can't bring it up if you ain't finished it. That's a fact. You know what? You got to hold that. Yeah, I got to hold that. You don't know how or nothing. True. You don't know when. By the way, next episode. Say no, no. <laughs> but you know, just the just the overall example Terrible. of just ah, alpha queen. You know, she, she was just a, There's plenty of women from what I see. Alpha, for sure, you know what I mean? And honestly, I, I see nothing wrong with that. I tell people all the time. Right now, and I think there is a such thing as an alpha queen, and not like I don't think all alpha queens have bitch niggas as like spouses. Like, I think there That's is. A, right, fact, it may like, be rarer. <laughs> well, no, that, I think in this society, yeah. women are conditioned Yo, to prefer else, to follow. If so I they have, if they happen to lead, yeah. I think most women will. They like they if they are a leader that's women, they have that's bitch beautiful. niggas probably yeah. prefer like uh common. Like, it's like, like, they like niggas they can run over. So I know, I know a lady oh. who like their paycheck, <laughs> his paycheck go to her account and she give him allowance, like, shit like that or whatever. Oh, like, hell no. So like shit like that be extreme or whatever. Now I'm not saying all awful queens are like that, but I feel like it's a good percentage. Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> dang, that's, mm. I, yeah. Is that a question? No, I'll, I'll just put it, I'll just let it breathe. Oh, it was just, all right, yeah, 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 breathe. All right. Um, <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, were you saying something? Oh. Being in the kitchen and paying. What? <laughs> now it's being in the kitchen and paying. There's I nothing tried. wrong with that. There's I nothing tried. wrong with that. I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. No, right, this right. motherfucker here. Well, first of all, I'm just throwing these about, words at me. Like, he's talking just, about being in the kitchen. My nigga. Be in the kitchen. My the kitchen right there. I was going to the direction. You can show ass in the basement. I can't cook. But that's that's. You mastered that. I made it this far. And there's something about your cooking that is so mm. royal and, and unique. Mm. And, and so just, you're an actor, so yeah. I don't want to hear none of that so bullshit you talking about. He said you like the episode, right? <laughs> so you posting it right now? I tried, bro. I tried. You're not even about to try it. He said it's royal. Like, I'm like, 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 I told you, I studied theater in college. Facts, yeah, 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 facts, 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 How about this? Um, y'all like being called daddy in se- during sex? What? <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> Listen, I you like it. it. Absolutely. Okay, answer it. I, uh, I'll take anything. Take anything. Okay. <laughs> I, I love, I love verbal. Oh, you know, like are you a talk or you like being talked to? Oh, or both of them. I'll, I'll splatter a word here and there, but I'm, I'm more of a like, I'm vocal, but I'm more of like a, like a, a grunter or like a, okay. I just let, whatever I'm feeling, I let it out. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So. I can admit, I'm like a, um, I like women talking more than me. Not talking at me, but just talking. Just talking. Yeah, yeah, like you don't gotta, like you don't really gotta gas me up. Like I'm it's like, you just, you know, you vocal. Yeah. Give me ego booze. I'm not the talker. Yeah. Yeah. Like, anyway, so you like even call daddy though? You that type? You that boy? Yeah. Boy? So the thing is, daddy kind of creeps me out, kinda. Like, it, it happens, but like I'm not like if it never happened, like I'll just do my thing. Yeah. Other shit is fun. My my whole thing is. That's yeah. Over. I don't. I don't mind. Yeah, of course. Cassie. Being called that. Yeah, sure. But. I've been told that like 
like I look serious all the time. She's like, why you look serious all the time? I'm like, I'm focused. <laughs> I'm focused. I'm focused. Bitch, man. You know how many podcast topics I got to think of through the week? Like, not even that. Just like, I'm just focused. Like, I just don't want to lose it. Like, I don't know. I just want to do sex. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, being serious during sex. Oh, I took some notes. <laughs> I thought you meant in general. I thought you meant in general. I thought you meant in general. Like, oh, okay, you okay, look okay. super mad right now. Okay. Or serious. So you're saying during, oh, you in the book. We talking about sex, kill. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Are you drunk? Me and Q. I don't get that. <laughs> he said me and Q. So when you're in the pussy, you be super serious, you focus. Yeah, we gotcha. talking about sex, right? Okay, he yeah. said she called me daddy. She don't call me daddy on the regular. She okay. got to call me yeah. daddy during sex. She call me daddy on the regular. Man, some yeah. niggas roll like that. You call me daddy on the regular? Times. In the kitchen. Monique do that. Hey. Monique. Monique she does do that fucking that shit weird shit. That is trash. Yeah, oh, my fact. God. That's so <laughs> trash. No, I respect that. What? what? I, respect that. I, I don't respect it because she's calling him daddy. I respect the fact that she's, she's like, I don't know. I just respect it for some reason. I just respect it. First of all, man, you way too old and big to be out here calling some. <laughs> she's not big no more. She's she big enough <laughs> to be calling some nigga daddy. That shit yeah. weird as fuck. Right. And okay, false. What if, what if that's a what if that's a, a thing of respect though? Is that your dad? I mean, no, no it's, it's her daddy. Her. It's her daddy. <laughs> you asked. That's why daddy, I say I'm not into daddy shit. Because to me, I truly <laughs> never really got it. Like, right, right, right. After, after. In the bedroom, I get it. That's, yo, that's deep. Yeah. That's deep. You never really got the concept. Like, why is daddy? It's really some weird. Right? Okay, yeah. this, this, this is my real theory of it. That's deep. Most shit in society is, is stemming from the patriarchal, some mis- misogynistic, mm-hmm. bad drop foundation of everything, whatever. So even something like that to me is stemming from that system, cause daddy is like what nigga? I'm not your dad, but I feel like all men try to have superior. Like all men, a lot of men try to have superiority complex. Like I run you, yeah, daddy, shit, whatever. And like dog, like I don't want to be your fucking dad. Like like. I mean, so that's why I think it comes. That's why I'm like like it happens of course. Like cause women are conditioned a lot of times. But like I'm yeah. cool. Like you come out my name or some shit. Like like yeah. But um, so you a daddy caller? I am not answering that. <laughs> I like Ty Dolla Sign songs, Zaddy. I like Zaddy. Yeah, you got songs. So Zaddy. no, you, you say Zaddy. Then. Oh, I see. No. I, I see. No, she, <laughs> she said no. I see what she did. Yeah, like, oh, I like know. that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Like, the D don't really do it from the Z. I like that song. Give me a little twang. Can I? Can I? Uh, go first. Um, um, do we like? And do you say like the personal name, like the government name? Why? Wow. Do you like oh. when your name is called? And do you Ooh. say the name? Call like, my full name is Wow. Not the full no, name. No, just the first name. Not government, first but name. like first name. Like. First name. I am asexual. <laughs> I am gotcha. asexual. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Q for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I prefer Q over the daddy thing. Like. No, I don't like my full name. Oh. What's that? You, no, that's not even my full name. No, got you. My full, my real name is Lionel. No you way. can't wow. do that. Is that really a yeah. Are you a junior? No. Oh, wow. Oh, they just called you? Well, no, my grandfather's name old. was Lionel. Uh, oh, my dad's okay. name was on the that, like, I have like, a real name. strong opinion about that. I feel like certain names should be passed now. Why was she never been so good? This conversation yeah. at work a lot. I remember we said that. Certain names. Like, yeah, like How do you feel about your name? My name was amazing. <laughs> and it has some power. I mean, you fix your face. No, that's my point. Like yeah. certain regular white names, it's all gauge fault. Like Lionel and uh, Winston. Oh, right. Yo, let that shit go. Winston is a nickname. I'm just saying. Either way, if I was a name though. Yeah, that was, that was from a true. white man. Winston Churchill. That's not a Winston Churchill. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's so let that shit go. I've been seeing certain juniors. Like, listen, my cousin, his name is. Thomas. It's like, why the <laughs> fuck are we passing Thomas down? <laughs> Thomas Walden Jr. That shit was not necessary to pass down, my nigga. Like, we didn't need another Thomas in the world. Yeah. So, like, yeah, if you have a, a unique or a different name, that's up to you, whatever. So, I, I feel like I can pass down my name, at least there's no other fucking Q day in this world, or whatever. But yeah, yeah, we can yeah. find another line in the line. Alright, can we really? Okay, we probably can. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I, whatever. I, I never met somebody named Lionel. Gay, yeah, you know somebody named Lionel? No. Fuck. I know Lionel's in movies <laughs> and like movies and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Interesting. Shout out to me. Also, a lot of old names. Like Gary. Just, 
Gary. Gary. That's, that's an old ass name. My grandfather's name was Gary. It sounds like somebody, a, 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 the baby just <laughs> came out smoking Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> oh, I do know him. Nigga came out the pussy smoking a cigarette. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Chainsaw, I just want to eat a little pack with him. I need some more cools. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, like I, I'm real cash about names. I feel like my grandma, one of my grandma has a, like, well, actually, both my grandma have like, some of the worst names ever. The one grandma that I love named Alberta. Horrible. <laughs> love it. Like, I, I had a cat named Alberta. <laughs> and my other grandma, really terrible, Gloria Jean. Fucking <laughs> crack. My name is love Jimmy. it. What the fuck, hey, parents? What's going on with my family? Hey, listen, like, love you. Yeah, listen, Recycling. I'm going to name my daughter Ida. That is love horrible. It. I love, love it. it. I can't even grind her to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is that from Game of Thrones? I don't game. know. What? No, it's not from Game of Thrones. He said, look, I'm so many seasons behind. I don't know. Ida Stark? Ari. Aria. Aria. Okay, Aria. Aria. I'm saying. Shame. 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 Oh, he was like that? I said, oh no, I, it was a little side note. I said both of my grandmother's names aren't like bad. Right. Rest in peace, Grandma Vera. Rest in peace, Grandma Vera. Vera. And then my other, I call her Mima. Her name is Jeanette. I'm not even going to say Jeanette. That's, that's a younger name. Jeanette. 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 I just wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Shout out to Ida B. She's not here yet. But, um, how about that? So, this conversation on time, on A nigga was like, yo, like, you know what? I'm mm-hmm. King King. I ain't gonna buy my girl a designer bag. I'm gonna buy her a whole thing. At LS. Oh, LSC. Mm-hmm. What you think about that, fellas? So I saw a whole conversation spawn from this dumbass. That's why I talk, like, all Twitter trend topics are just like, Arguments stemming from one dumbass of random opinion, and people all forgot about whatever. Auntie. So yeah, auntie. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, well, what's what's the problem? So what do you think? Oh, okay, uh, he wants to buy her an LLC mm-hmm. for her business that she wants to start. I suppose. What's wrong with that? I suppose nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Did you have any thoughts when you saw the conversation? But you were I think that's one of the conversations. I just keep scrolling. Like, I just feel like yeah. it's anything. Like yeah. that's any conversation. People want to have something to talk about, yeah, and like, I feel like that's just any dumb. Just support your queen, like of course. But if she don't want it, oh uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of where I was going because it's like if she don't want it. I feel like also in the social media age. Everybody is an entrepreneur. Everybody is a uh, owner of something. Everybody is a this one. You know, really, everybody isn't those these things, whatever. So I thought the sentiment was like, I ain't gonna buy her a bag. Yeah, but it's don't, like don't everybody don't, like don't want to be a business owner. Me. Everybody don't have uh, even a fucking plan. But I get it. Though. I get the general point is like, yo, let's not let's stop splurging on things. Let's 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 splurge something that can be you know appreciate over time. I get it. Yeah. But as of most things, you know, niggas are making dumb shit after. What? It's always on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's one of those pointless conversations. Like you can't. Yeah. I saw some girls say, "No, if I, I give me my bag." It's like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? What is happening? I just feel like if you're a woman and you don't have a desire to have a business, you're gonna want a bag. You know what I mean? But if you a business woman, mm-hmm. if you want an LLC, mm-hmm. and you think about your LLC, mm-hmm. give me the LLC. She said, "Go the fuck up, y'all." Bitch, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you women want a bag? <laughs> Don't Stop even don't these even, up, queen. Don't even tell them about the LLC. You ain't gonna take them on. No, Just no, let it, let it right. run. Like, let I run. Some women don't even warn them about it. You know what I mean? And they, they might general. just prefer a bag. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? Mm-hmm. And if you are a woman that has a business and a man says, I'm gonna buy your LLC, oh, word? Mm-hmm. Buy my LLC then, nigga. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you. How about this? Um, Do girl have, have a girl ever tried to bag you? Bag me? Yes, yeah. Bag. Yeah. Oh, talk to me, queen. <laughs> so a girl, someone time you say a girl, a girl isn't bad unless a woman trying to bag her as well. So I don't think that's true. Nah, nah. I don't think that's true because I feel like I that recently that. just had, like that recently just started oh, yeah. happening. Because so I have a you, short. You bag. just became bad. No, I'm not saying that. According just, to the theory, I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's any theory, but I don't think that if a woman doesn't try to bag you, <laughs> that you're not beautiful. Bad. Not all women are into other women. Listen, but the dykes though, they heavy. <laughs> they heavy out here in these streets and they do not give a fuck. Yeah, you know how we was talking about uh dirty macking? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> dykes, 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 dykes are, are crazy, bro. 
Fam, I'll be out with my, if I had a, I'll be out with her, and I'll be sitting there, we'd be sitting together, and the dyke would just stroll up in between us like, hey girl, what's up? I'm like, I'm talking to her. <laughs> She's with somebody. It's yeah. me. I'm somebody. I'm yeah. here. <laughs> Bro, dykes do not care. They do not give a fuck. Do you fight a dyke? Huh? Do you fight a dyke? Uh, I don't fight women. I mean, dude, I'm like, I'm just asking hell, you a question. Like, like, who, I, <laughs> no, like, for real. Like, if she stole off on me, if she like, stole off on me, that's an L I'll, I'll be proud to take. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fighting like, no day, yeah, man. I, okay. Like, I, yeah, okay. I almost got into a bar fight with one, bro, because she beat my man's in pool. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Oh, she was whipping his ass in pool. And, and I'm like, look, bro, you just going to have to take the L. He like, nah, bro, fuck it. Da, da, da. I'm like, bro, she probably got like a team of dykes that probably just come out. <laughs> fucking heads. Tire irons and just fucking bats and shit. Like, I don't. So, shout out to y'all. If a dyke's still off on me. Oh, so shit. I'm not going to switch the fuck out. We already know you. <laughs> I'm mean, being relaxed with this judgment. I mean, just relax. No, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> we know you don't give a fuck. Yeah, we know. Nigga never um, cared. Uh, how about this? Uh, speaking of bagging again, can you think of a corny? Oh, she's throwing glasses. Okay. I could, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm a little blind. Can you think? Not a little bit. But uh, we, they like, Burberry. We like. like oh my. Oh my. Can you think my. of a corny line? Like a corny <laughs> pickup line never came at you? Or like whether it's on a DM and a person, like corny, corny thing that people just say. I, I enjoy when women like not putting niggas on black, but they just say like, "Yo, this nigga's out." Like niggas say that. Like niggas would yeah, try. Especially that. when you hear it in person, it's like, bro, you, you are corny. Course. I'm sorry. Um, let me think. Let me it's been a lot. I can't think of any time that y'all are like, mind. like that wasn't it. Like that approach wasn't it. Yeah. Can, can, can I be wild problematic right now? Always. Women don't know how to bag. Mm. Women are great. Women are, they do not. A lot of them don't. They do not know what how makes to bag. It worse, they really don't. Really, they don't even need much effort. They don't have to be smooth. Yeah. That's what makes but, women but, trash. But, but, but if they do come with a corny line, we're willing to just We're willing fight. to just go in there. They don't matter. care. You can say anything. Right. Oh my God, you right. tried? That's right. what makes women trash. They want to be like, they want to be like, I don't know what to I, say. I, 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 I'm you know, shy. Really... I don't know. I had a girl here. Shout out to the Playbox. She was like, yeah, like 15 years ago. I got rejected one time. I ain't came in a guy since. Bitch, <laughs> 15 years ago. <laughs> if you don't get back in the fucking gym, like, you know how I many times niggas a day get rejected? You know how many times I got to shoot? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely the joint that will not shoot my shot. Uh, I will not really? shoot. I will. I, I am, I feel like I'm that, I'm that person. Uh, I feel like if I shoot my shot at you and you don't want me back, we better you don't get want married. me back. We better have kids by tomorrow. Want me back. If you don't want me back, what you mean? Shout out to my queen. Tell she bagged me. <laughs> She up, bagged you? Came up to me. I, I know that's right. I don't listen. I admire women that she shoot they shot. I, I didn't even I see where she came from. I really do. I don't have. She was drunk. In me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like me shooting my shot is just looking. Like I feel like that's it. Can oh, you one of them? Oh. Like, okay. Just, oh. okay. Is it like a slight stare or is it just occasional glances? It's probably it's an occasional glances. Ah. But in my head. I'm thinking like she thinks she's going like this. Like <laughs> I stuck. You look two I, times. I mean, two hours. Like no, I don't see you looking. It's, like. it's very tough. I don't like it because like I'll be sitting there. I'm like, did she just look at me again, or was I looking? And was she looking? Did we both look at the same time? Because some women sure? do that just to know that it'll 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 get your juices. Yeah, right. facts. They, they like do have to play around with yeah. you sometimes. Stop too. playing with my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like stop it. You Come on now. What? No. Oh, I'm disgusting. Can I have more aqua? Fuck. This is two glasses. Gay. Thank you so much. It's hot outside. Y'all out in here drinking liquor. Get us some of the cat. Get us some of the cat. I say that. I say that. You look so disrespectful. I came home yesterday. Thank you so much. I was so drunk. And I just like. And I watched the second half of the Warriors game. Just in my drawers. Just watching TV. In the box briefs. In the in the box briefs. Thank you. That's what it's about. That's yeah, what life no, is about. Yeah, I don't shoot my shot. I don't shoot my shot at men. Okay. I, I just, it's, I just, I feel like I would not, if I shot my shot at a guy, I would not be able to handle the rejection mm. if he was just. Who made it handle it? I, I swear, like my pride. I am literally shit. asexual now. Like I'm celibate. Look at me. I am asexual. <laughs> but no, I would definitely be like, oh, he don't want me. How many women get it? You'd be surprised. It's literally like a 10% chance. No, you it's would be surprised. It's literally like a 4% chance. Come on, what are we talking about? Here? Okay, where are you shooting your shot at? 
any of you shot your shot and then missed nine times, and the nigga directly next to me like. Eh. Hey, All right, but my thing, thing is, my thing, thing is, if you if you get the I'm number, just saying, I'm just saying. So my point is, yeah. you can't take you gotta take that rejection so to speak as a grain of salt. Cause like, dog, the pool is so wide where niggas like literally if he's in a room, it's like I was good. Four <laughs> girls or so, and depending on the nigga, like yeah, like it's a chain, it's a possibility here. So he gotta find these four possible girls or so, meaning. It's a hundred other girls in the room that's like, no, no, no type thing. Where y'all, like, you can find the four guys possibly that will say no. So, like, yeah. get over yourself. Or you just don't shoot your shot. Maybe. You miss 100% of the shots. That's, ah, for, that's, for, hey. that's for men, though. Okay. I that's like, for, that's for, that should be for women, for women, too. But women, <clears throat> equality, they really don't have to. They don't. They don't. They don't. I we, know they don't. We're, and, you they know what I'm saying? They really that's why I'm trying to change the world, Greg. Right. The whole they world. have women do it? Equal you know what's equal. crazy? I have girlfriends that are with their, they have been with their boyfriends for a long time, and they was the ones that shot they shot, mm. and they was like, you know what? Shoot your shot. I, I bet you, you shoot your Girl. shot at somebody. Wait, to get your yeah. Y'all gonna be together? For, I'm not sure. Because that's usually how it happens, though. Mm. That's usually 100 percent of the time. Not even. Not Did your girl bag you? No, it was it was it was fifty fifty. Okay. What? It was fifty. What's this? Bro, he's on the streets. So, like, what is happening? What is a 50-50 thing? So 50-50 is like... It was like, hey, I see you. You see me, right? I see you. Really? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. much. Okay, so I went this. So earlier, you was like, um, moving on more with dating. You was like, first, the first reaction you had, you are like, ooh, black love. But actually, you're in an interracial, interracial relationship yes, with sir. her. Yes, sir. So in your experience, what are like, um, have you always been interracial dating? Have you been where you were at against that certain point or whatever? Certain thoughts that people you know, their thoughts on it. What do you, and yeah. I already know you know the world has certain thoughts. So right, right. general thoughts on that. Um, and did you have any apprehension? Like, I'm going to get married, this and that. So, right. Kids, eventually. Any yeah. thoughts? Anything like that? I, I mean, I never had a preference necessarily. Um, I've, I've dated and been with, I mean, different kind of women most mm-hmm. of the time. But like... I mean, I, I've always, you know, dated black women, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, but like in this instance, it was just, it just so happened, you know what I'm saying? It just so happened, you know what I mean? That that she was the one I fell in love with. Uh, I was a real quick yeah. side of the question. Mm-hmm. Have you ever said you were in love before? Yeah, I thought I was. So you thought you were. I thought I was. Okay. Because in, in right now, I, I've never felt what I felt now. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's the difference. It's like, yes, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I thought I was in love with, you know, different women before. Mm-hmm. But when I found, um, or when I, when I got into this relationship, it was it was different. You know what I mean? It was really different. I never felt, I was almost kind of scared. I was just like, whoa, like this is, you know, this is different. But, um... My, I was talking to my grandmother because I knew this would be something, generally something that would be either asked or a topic, you know what I mean? Because in this climate, in a really in, in a racial relationship, it's kind of, you know, there's a stigma about it. Of course. You know, um, and, and it's something I feared because I, I, I didn't want people to get the wrong idea about me. Like, that's, that's just what I like. And I discriminate against our people and and our beautiful black women, you know what I'm saying? Because in my opinion, those are, I, I believe this world was made from the, the bosom of the black woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bosom, bosom, bosom. You know what I mean? So, so <laughs> that's, that's and, and my mother's black, my grandmother's black, so I talked, I had a conversation with my grandmother and I said, you know, I'm really kind of scared of public perception. Of, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm scared of what people will, will say. I'm scared of just having to go through, because I see, Everyone, you know, everyone else, like whether it be celebrity, rapper, actor, or whatever, who's in a relationship, like interracial relationship, I see what they go through. I see what the public says and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh shit, I'm next. Like, oh god, you know. And my grandmother said this. She said, "Love is love." She said, "People see color. Color, love doesn't." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I said, "That's where I think." And I got from that. I think that's where the the disconnect is. Is like we're trying to so much intertwine the two uh two uh narratives you know but when we separate it we'll see that wow okay 
you know, people people actually we're the ones who discriminate, we're the ones who see color, we're the ones who, you know, blah 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 blah. Society, but, right. But but love doesn't. You love who you love and love is gonna do what it does. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I think in in my instance, love just took over. Love happened. But you know people are gonna like, I, and I understand. you know, yeah. And that's I, what I, I, that's what you know I know. People are you know, like wild out. Right. Like I didn't even know. Right. And look at what I said. Like, but I mean, now that yeah. I know, it's like, yo. Yeah, I remember once I had a conversation with a girl that I work with, and even though my girl is not only black but dark skinned and African. Yeah. Professional, professional pop. <laughs> From the motherland. Yeah, she's black, dark skin, and African, whatever. So I was right. like, one thing I don't like about the whole narrative narratives in regards to people who are uh, against inter- interracial dating. And again, I'm cool if you're against that. That's your business. Whatever. I'm not saying you're wrong necessarily. Whatever. But one thing I don't like with those people generally is that they'll take someone with someone that's not black and they say, oh, he only like you said, he only dates this whatever. She said, yeah, yeah like if you I, if you ever break up with her and you with a girl that's not black. Oh, you just so dumb. Just like, nigga, what? Like, it's like, like how? It's like, so I, yeah. I don't like those type of conclusion junk yes. and shit like that. Yeah. I, I heard this, and sorry to cut you off. I heard, you like, it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that if you are in a interracial relationship, you can't be pro black. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that too, and it, and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because I I was just like, why? Why can't I be pro-black if I'm in a re- interracial relationship? Okay, what do y'all think? Yeah, I think that's bullshit, man. I don't think it. I, I don't think it matters what I think. <laughs> uh, I think it does matter. I, don't I think, think it, it does matter. Does, man. Man. Yeah, yeah, that that is no, I saw no, an eyebrows raised. I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. I'm interested. I, I'm interested. Interracial. I'm, interested. I'm not. I. I have never dated outside my race. I love my black men. I don't. Thank honestly, you. if that's. What you want? That's what you want to do. Like I don't, I don't get into the whole. But do you think you could be pro black and date interracial? I don't know. You don't. Know. I try. To, I don't think too much into that. Into <laughs> what? I respect. I mean, I, I don't I think too. I, I don't. I don't think too much into that. I don't. Yeah, I, don't I, never, like the, I don't like. I don't like to go down they, that lane. I had a conversation with someone. They told me that they believe that's true <clears> because they. Because what I also find in this conversation that. People either don't know what pro black means or ever have different definitions of pro black. Yeah. So I talked to one person. They said, "Yeah, like, why well, can't someone who dates interracial can, dates interracially can't be pro black when there's pro black non black people?" He like you. T- he mentioned start certain white people who've been a part of the civil rights movement the whole time, whatever, and still to this day, whatever, and are part of the progression that we made to this who's point. Who's this nigga Sean King? Is he, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Isn't he light skinned? He's he some white? shit. Lock yeah. ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, right, so ahead, ahead, if they done certain things, he like he the person. I'm like, yo, I'm pro gay. I'm not gay. You can't tell me that I'm not pro gay. I'm for all advancements and shit like that for gay people. So like, why? Yeah. Just because I'm not gay, I can't be pro gay. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I literally never thought about that. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So since then, I'm like, hmm. So, but this is where I think the line should be drawn. This is where I think <clears> the problem is. If me, if I said, you know what, I'm not dating black women. Right. I don't. I don't freak with black women. Whatever. Whatever. I'm only dating this type of woman. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you choose. The degrading of it. Yeah, when you choose. The D1 I'm, basketball football player ass niggas, huh? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they gonna say, I don't want a dark skin right. baby. <laughs> when you choose That's who you want to be with, when you see. Mm-hmm. When, you, when mm-hmm. it's kind of like a. Uh, what they say in, 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 uh, in like murder? It's like a. Um, premeditated. Mm-hmm. When yeah. it's premeditated. Right. And that's yeah. where the problem lies, in my opinion. So you didn't go into the relationship like, I just, I want to date this. She is white. She's, all, she's from Sydney, Australia. Oh, okay. She's yeah. Australian. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you didn't go into it like, uh, I'm just going to date all white girls. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, no. He, he had to no. contain that. Nah, like I said, it's, you know, no. No. <laughs> um, no. Did you, at one point, did you feel like you were like trading? On black women for your fiance. Can you can you elaborate on that? Like when well, you also are you assuming this is the first white well non black. I guess I should I should ask is this your first? This is my second because the the person that I was with before, like the official relationship that I was with before. Oh, so you on the downward with your trajectory as they were saying. <laughs> no, it, it's, you know, it, in that situation, in that situation, that was. 
He ain't been right since. <laughs> that was, that was he got on Bobby Brown. That was, that was off uh, lust. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest. That was off lust. lust. Mm. I had gotten out of a relationship before that person. And that was kind of like a rebound thing. Um, Shout out to the rebound. You know what I'm saying? And I think you, you know this person. You know what I'm saying? And that was kind of like, she showed me attention. So, why you know not? what I mean? Why not? You know what I mean? But uh, I can honestly say... And not to go off on a tangent, I can honestly say, at this point in time in my life, I've accepted, I've learned to embrace and accept my identity as a black man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because my whole life, I felt like I had to fit in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I said, when it came time to choose what career path I wanted, it was hard because a lot of my my surroundings were in one field, and I had to, you know what I mean? So, and I, I went to uh, schools where I was one in a few black people. You know what I mean? And I say that had any uh, influence on who I dated, but like, in this point in time, like I'm, I'm just so proud to be black, and even though I'm in an rela- interracial relationship, I can't wait to culture my children. Oh, you know what I mean? To, to know that regardless of the percentage of black that they have in them, they are black. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm looking forward to, is just culture, culturing my children. On, on both sides, of course, mm-hmm. but just don't be embracing. Embracing because me and Q have mutual friends who are interracial and they kind of I'm sorry to put you in this, but they kind of like embrace their their Caucasian side more. Mm-hmm. You know, for some personal reasons, but I fear mm-hmm. that and also this is the last thing I'll say. There was a trend on uh, Facebook, this video went viral or whatever of an interracial relationship at a restaurant. And the dad is black, and he said, um, "Cheers to more light-skinned babies." Light-skinned babies. What? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Football player. Excuse me, bitch. He was a black ass nigga. The Chargers. I remember that. Excuse me. <laughs> Are we dumb? So they always other shit. I don't well, know. You know yeah. Moving on though. <laughs> enough, enough said. <laughs> yeah. Um. Real quick, movie talk. Real quick. You know. Let's do it. Shit. So, which is the best duo? That y'all just prefer of like comedy. Mm. We got uh, Seth Rogen and Franco, okay. Ice Cube and Mike Epps, mm. Will Ferrell and Will Riley. I forgot. I think John C. Riley from Step Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you? You those three? Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Will Ferrell and. Oh, I think I got two movies. I think I need to like at least. Will Ferrell. Gotcha. And, and, I think. And, and John. John C. Rod, I think. Yeah, Step Brothers, right? I love yeah, yeah. Together. You know yeah. that? I love Nobody together. talked about their last flop though they had. Nobody talked about it. Wait, Which wait, one was, was that? that? Oh. Uh, like, uh, uh, Sherlock, Sherlock, Sherlock Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Was I it? knew. As soon as I was trying to. I was like, that's going to be bad. I knew it. Like, I didn't, it's very bad. I didn't know that came. What I think that uh, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen and Franco? And Franco. Because they got Pineapple Express. Wait, oh, uh, the This is the end? The interview? And the interview is. Come on. The interview was crazy. Oh my god! I mean, we gonna sleep on next Friday though. Yes. I'm not big. Like that. I'm not, I'm not he big said like big actually yes. Snooze fest. They only played that one or two. Yeah, that all about the Benjamins, which I personally all about like. the Benjamins is good. And um, the like Epps carried that though because Ice Cube's not funny. He's not. Funny. He not funny. He not funny in Friday. Like he's a good writer. Okay, in Friday, in Friday, he, like, of course, he's a serious person. He like, had it's dry humor in Friday. Yeah, like, it's dry humor in Friday. I'm yeah. not big on any of the Fridays, so. That, Word. I'm not, I'm the first not, one is all right, but uh, the second one is okay. The third one is good. I like all. Oh, the third one, the first one, the second one, the, no, the first, the first one, the one, the first one is the best. Of course, of course. That's cl- oh, ultimate classic. Boom. Right. The second one, the second one is a classic. Which one is that? Hanky. Friday and Baby next? D. Oh, next Friday, next Friday. Yeah, yeah Baby D Friday. and the oh, Puerto yeah. Rican ball. Wow. Lock the door. Don't lock doors. Right. Wow. Fifties and titties. <laughs> yeah. I could literally watch that movie with a straight face. Oh shit. Which one? Hot takes. All of them. Oh shit. Hot take. Is that what it's called? Hot That's take. That's a hot take. It's right like there. between nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. Absolutely in the nobody. Universe. <laughs> nobody on this. Tyler <laughs> got one black Wait. person ever in history. So, like the whole Twitter debate about pick the the comedian, uh, yeah. one gotta go. Yeah. I said Seth Rogen. I don't think he's funny. So the the oh, conversation. I don't know if you saw, but Seth Rogen, Jim Carrey, Will yeah. Ferrell, Adam Sandler. Yeah. I don't think Seth Rogen is funny. Adam Sandler gotta go. Matter of fact, 
To be honest, I don't care about hood. gotta go. To be honest with you. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay, so you're just racist. So that's Happy what it is. Happy Gilmore was. Black people cannot be racist. Happy Gilmore was good. I'm not gonna get into right, that. But mm. black people cannot be racist. Happy Gilmore is a classic. That's a freaking Water Boy is a classic. Big Daddy. Kid. What was a kid? Oh, Big, Big Daddy. Daddy. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Oh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. That's a classic. Black people can be racist. We don't get into I just said I was We just talked about the person that just. Did the toast. Know. He yeah. was black. We yeah, already know you. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I had a whole last episode. Listen to the uh, yeah. Listen to the last. The last one. Go in. That was uh, where, your like at? Yeah, where your knees at? Yeah, where your knees at? Listen. Uh, yeah, I watched that. Shit. That was that was a, shame. that was some wild shame. 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 <laughs> you. Yeah, you was a little. I, I Hold on, I, I can't. I, I think I know what she's talking about. It was a little like. I can't. It was a little instant. I can't believe it. I tried to stay bit. away from this conversation. Yeah, it was a little topic, instigational. I, I was like, damn, Shame. you. Damn, what? Okay, this Shame. is what I will say about the Where Your Knees episode. Go listen to it if you haven't yet. Damn, great episode. First that. off the rip, yeah. the reason why I take certain offense to like the screenshot takes, outrage and backlash, when people try to say like, I coerce certain things, they're like, first of all, I get grinded up too. So I was like, yeah, that's yes, nah, that's what are these true. people <laughs> grinding me up about what y'all saying? So that's, that's, I get out of the way. Because like, <laughs> I post, you know, I don't post everything. You know, some shit is a little too harsh on me. Oh, wow. you know, <laughs> it's like, fuck you, Q. <laughs> no, I, 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 no I, not about, not about oh, you. Not about about I take anything, but the guys, you know, they ain't, you know, I try to, you know, I've learned that. You know, uh, we don't got to post everything. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. I post all my shit while I get grinded up. Secondly, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> Instigator. I think I ask questions. Yeah, I think it was the, the, the part that I'm talking about. Okay. Part. Maybe it's not that serious, but when mm. um, the white girls was like, "Yeah, I don't know where that's at. I don't have. We don't have we the bad knees." And then it was like, I don't know if you were egging it on. Like you was <laughs> okay, like, queen. Talk heavy, yeah. Talk heavy, queen. I was like, dang, y'all know my voice. Bro. Talk yeah. heavy, queen. I was like, dang, Talk yeah. Y'all know that number. The funniest shit ever is when a black girl mock your voice, yo. It's like they make this out of the most retarded nigga ever. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was okay. that part. I was, like, yeah, I was like, dang, I was like, dang. Kid. I couldn't believe it. My ears. I dang, was like, because at low key, I was waiting for them to be like, because they kept using the word y'all a lot. I was like, yo, uh, what's going <laughs> yeah. on here? Like, it was like, I don't know about y'all, but like, we didn't got it. Like, yeah, yeah, I was girl. like, ooh, yeah. that's, ooh, that's that's what you got from it. But but for your show, for for entertainment's sake, I, I, I just guess, ask questions. I guess, <laughs> right. I, I get it, but it was just they like, tried. I was like, that's all I'm gonna say. Them two, mm. they tried it. Yeah, they, mm. they tried it. They, they got a little comfortable. Mm. They got way too comfortable. Mm. Yeah. They got way too comfortable. Mm. The motherfuckers tried it. But you what was your next question? No, I don't. What's next? I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Are we all in the room fans of the Avengers MCU? Yes, sir. Of I'm course. Not, DC first, but the MCU, of course. What's happening here? <laughs> wait, wait. Actually, what's worse than her saying she's not is him saying DC first. I am baffled. <laughs> Wait, you said really? DC first? Unusual. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm hold on. completely unusual. DC. I ain't never seen nobody act like this. What's happening DC. here? All right, what, are we talking about the movies or just real life? What's like, happening like, here? Real life, real life. Not the movies. That's different. That's different. Yeah, Marvel has the <laughs> greatest movie. Yeah, right, DC. Cool. We're talking about, talk about the movies here. Movies. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. MCU. 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 Did we like Endgame? Real quick. We're going to run this movie shit. Did we like Endgame? False. No. So the, the overall disappointment in general. Disappointment. Yeah, it was okay. Mandela effect. You don't like Mandela? I gotta watch that again. I only seen it no, once. No, 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 oh, what you mean? You know the Mandela effect? The man Mandela? I'm a nagger? I'm like, cool? Nelson Mandela? Mandela. 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 Remember, there's a thing called the no. Mandela effect? I'm a cool. cool. I know exactly yeah. what you're Please uh, explain it to these guys. Howie Mandela? These these what's these happening here? Right? So, so. <laughs> these Negroes. Damn, I'm not I just had to explain this to my stepdad. And he's, you know. I was surprised when he said he didn't know. But basically, Mandela got locked up. Okay. Back there. Okay. I followed. And there's a conspiracy that he died in jail, in prison. But mm. then it, he was released. And it, like, in history, like, they just erased that part in history. Like, I'm sorry, that never that happened. Mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he did it was like a doppelganger? It, it was like, not even that, but like, it was just like, he died in prison. Oh, that was his the, soul. That was his soul. No, died. he literally died in prison. Uh, well, like that was the stamp <laughs> oh, in, in, in history. And then flash forward, you know, he's alive. Like he didn't die. 
they so just, they, they, completely they released, released that, it. That part. They, yeah, they completely. That so they released history. saying he died. Yeah, it's. He, but then once he got out, they how died. drunk am I? What is happening? So basically, so, according, he's saying that at one point in history, I think he got out like in the eighties or something. Yeah, like maybe in the seventies, said yo, Mandela died in prison. Yeah, and yeah. then people moved on. In the eighties, uh, he came out. Uh, he okay. came out, but like when he came out, it was like no one mentioned the fact that yo, you. Niggas made that up. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was just like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. I know. I like, knew this. So, it, maybe it's not a good correlation, and people probably. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the correlation. Yeah. So, the, the correlation the that I see okay. is that of Endgame, literally everyone I talk to, bro, this is the greatest MCU film in the world. Oh, no, 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 no that's a lie. Like, yeah. I even was watching bloggers, like certified bloggers yeah. on this movie yeah. stuff yeah. that said this is the greatest thing. When I went to go see it, bro, I was like, are we? Did we watch the same film? It was in. So when I came <laughs> out of it, it was just like. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah, like, you don't watch yeah. the MCU? Nope. Okay. I thought she was a queen queen. I am a queen queen. You wouldn't go see Black Panther, right? I went and saw it. Well, what is happening here? Separate conversation. <laughs> Separate conversation. <laughs> Because black okay. people were oh, That's why I saw okay. it. Right. My people. Yeah, they wasn't just black. It was black, black. Like super black. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I went to go see my people. Okay, how about this? Game of Thrones, where's the rank top five show? I mean, is it top five show of all time? I'm not finished. Like what? Movies? Just y'all said. Ooh, and from what you, question. you know, if you can win China. Is it top five? Game of Thrones? Top five, top five. Yeah. So. Yeah. It still is. Sure. That's top really. one? It is Ew. top two. Better than Breaking now, Bad? Now with that ending. Better than Weeds? Breaking Bad was great. Yeah. Better than Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad was Breaking Bad is like this. <laughs> okay, like, so this is my rankings. Yeah. I, I told people before Game of Thrones ended, before, you know, <clears throat> season eight. Yeah. Travesty. I was like, Game of Thrones would be number one to me, all depending on the ending. Mm. I, I agree with that. Yeah, now the one, ending happened, I was it's like. It's not number one. Okay, I can two. feel that. To me, I still can see it be are you because it still was number seven two great seasons. Number two to who? Breaking Bad. Those are the top two. Off okay, there. Breaking Bad is really good. So I mean, I got those. I like, had the one A, one B, some shit like that, whatever. Power. Then it is I need you to relax. You like power? I love power. All right, so cut the mic off, Gage. We're going to like, <laughs> <laughs> And then I got Sopranos, Wire, Sopranos, and then probably Sons of Anna. Wow. Oh boy, I was about to say. I was like, wait, where? Like, Wire? Nigga, I was about to get, where does Sons of Anarchy fall? What in is here? this Wire talk? I've never watched Sons of Anarchy. The Wire not talking about the Fire Show. It's, it's fire. The Wire is the Wire is top. Wire is six is out. All right, what's 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 in there? What, 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 what I say? What's in there? Not answer. I haven't seen the Wire. It's overrated. Okay, uh, uh, you, talk, you just need the whole bunch of HBO shit. HBO right? You don't like, watch Sons of Anarchy? I'm not HBO watch. wasn't on HBO first of all. Yeah, Sons of yeah, Anarchy. Yeah, Sons, Sons of Anarchy is Netflix, right? No, that's FX. 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 American Horror Story. American Horror Story is amazing. I'm need you to relax one more time. It is amazing. It's fucking amazing. It's great. American Horror Story is fucking amazing. Yeah, that's in my top five. Honestly, the night of. Has anybody seen the night of? How can I one? Have seen, I have seen the night of. How can eight episodes the be better? Shit out of the wild. I have seen the night of. <laughs> I have seen the night of. All right, moving on. Just the upset niggas. Moving on. Huh? I, I respect it. Ozark, no, it, Ozark. Ozark's is good. Too early. Really too, early. It. too early. It, mm. It's good. Though, it's good as hell. Actually, even from the. I agree. I thought I like the first season more. Yeah. First season was better. I like the ending of the second season because yeah, we same. figured same. out like, oh shit, the wife really about to be on some wild yeah, yeah. shit. But so still, season three, I just can't wait. I will say this: if this one show I'm gonna mention gets two more seasons of the same trajectory, I think my slides to the top ten Talk easily. To hey, to big little Stranger lies. Things. Oh, Stranger Things. Not on the same oh, page. I wasn't <laughs> feeling season two. I wasn't feeling season two. What? I I don't know, bro. Stranger Things know. season two was alright. It was. It was, it was good. Right. I just little lies. Not rolling. Season one was yes. classic. It was great, but not top ten. No, no, not yet. But it, was it was great though. Stranger Look, give, it, give it three more years. Stranger Things a runner up. Facts, like yeah, top ten, like yeah, it's Stranger Things is, is top ten. All right, yeah. top ten. Why not? Yeah, yeah. give me Why two not? more seasons of it, and then we would have got a conversation. Why not? But moving on, shout out to my boy Killer man. Mm-hmm. We had a conversation. I mean, I I don't know what we did. Maybe brief on Twitter. I don't. I told a lot of people, but uh, about random shit. But um, nineties baddies. Oh. Ooh. That was us. We had that because I posted the four pictures of the, gotcha, gotcha. the baddies. Right. So Woo. I love my '90s baddies. Absolutely. Nia Long, Leah Rakan. R- R- I never know how to pronounce her last name. Holly. You know, it's even crazy. to the to the this. Vixen world, Melissa yeah. Four. You know, I love the '90s That's baddies, good. early 2000s. Yeah. However, to me, you can't compete with the new Instagram era. 
It's just impossible. You said you like, can't do what? You can't what? compete you with the new Instagram, Instagram era. It's impossible. Wow. Like, well, I think I they, think you can. I think you can. Wow. It's all plastic surgery. It's all plastic surgery. Well, I feel like nobody what's your has point? A, it's not even, it's not even effective. Look, and I know that episode. Literally, you nobody has I just don't, I don't think it's surgery, surgery, effective. Bro. I don't think it's... Look, he... I, f- I forget the name of it, but he was going. He was like really an advocate for it, like by so plastics. Like I was just like, what's wrong? Nothing with wrong. Right? It's, it's nothing like, wrong with it, but it's just too much I of have it. To disagree yeah. with it's too much of it. There's something wrong with surgery queen. Yes. Why? Because well, I wouldn't. I I never get it. Okay. Like, I just I just I feel like when people do she it, they overdo it. it. They had this old shit. Got got right? Name a person who has it. She got to have it. It's a good show. Oh, I love. She's got to have it. First of all, she got to have it. It's Name a person who has no, it's not. Shit, absolutely Are you is. kidding me? Second of all, moving on from that, I don't know why you brought. Why you bring it up? Just I don't well, know. Because she was she talking about it. plastic. No, that, that was that happened. Oh, she had the fake season. ass. I didn't see that. Yeah, trash. But um, oh, uh, damn. Kim. First of all, Fuck. I see a new Instagram trick on Instagram every other day. All them bitches fake. So it's yeah. too hard for me to say which one. Like all of them fake, damn there. That's what all of them don't overdo it though. Yes. Like all of them not low Kim. But the point is, everybody looks the same. Yeah. Literally yeah. everybody Max. looks the Max. fucking same. Max. I feel like the fact that you can just order an ass that's a certain size and just some girl don't live ass. with it. I mean, I'm fine with so that. what's wrong with getting ass? I said if it. my hairline goes to LeBron, I'm getting some fake shit. So I can't just I can't I can't judge a girl for getting a fake ass. The same shit. No, that's not the Man, same. Man, LeBron, 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 that's 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 like okay. I KD understand. needs a new hair. You want to know why '90s baddies is unmatched because. You could just go off of the face. Absolutely. You went off of the the looks, the glare. Sex appeal. What is sex appeal? I was having this conversation with somebody. What is a sex symbol? Sex appeal these days, man. I had a conversation on Twitter about what sex appeal. What is sex and symbol? Do we, everybody's a sex symbol nowadays. You go on Instagram. Everybody yeah, wants to show on the hair. Meg Thee Stallion funny, is though. making I feel making like everything is just so easy accessible. Yeah. Like, that's fair. When we're in the age, everything is accelerated, of course. And that's, yeah. that's corny and shit. And sex sells. So, so like, Meg Thee Stallion not sexy? Uh, I, the, I mean, I, I, all right. So what are we talking about? It's like, to the point where you're just like, so I like, so I, 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 I see a new video. Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody. But I'm talking about this. No, no, no. That's not the point. I'm talking about his point is we see it every day. So what? We see it all the time. Is she bad or no? She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry, but yeah, make the style is real. Make make it, it, look, it, listen. So, all right? She all right, bro. Ooh, make the style. Make the style is all right. She all right. Niggas is wild. Listen, <laughs> how many Meg the styles have we seen? Bro, she's doing this. It's the same thing. I don't See, know. That's crazy, though. A Corvette is a Corvette. Like, they don't, they don't see a bunch of Corvettes. I'm going to say this, though. Because there's so many people that have plastic surgery, we can't even appreciate the real. Like, he didn't even know that it was her body. I didn't even know it was her body. That's crazy. Like, that's that's just wild. I know when she's real estate. I'm I'm just doing the game. You know, like, you got here studying the stat sheets. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. From the 90s, I just sat in the car waiting for for you, you, right? I watched... Holly Berry eat the hot wings for 30 minutes. Great episode. It was a really good episode. I was surprised. I was like, shout out to Holly Berry. She still got it. Look, wise. The way she was chewing her chewing her food was just like I mean, I'm just saying, I would love to see Bernice Burgos shoot, really? shoot some hot wings. And that's what I'm that saying, Holly, that Holly Berry, like, you know what I'm saying? That's your Polanco first. And then and it was just, it, it Josh is bad at Bernice Burgos? Uh, she's natural. Who? I don't even Wait, know who's these names. Who? I don't even know these names. Dasha from Orange New Black, the thick Spanish John. She, she was better in, than Bernice? When they see her, she was in that. She wasn't in when they see her. She wasn't. She, she was, was in it. She was. Oh, she, she was. okay. All right, all right. Oh, she bad. She bad in Bernice Burgos? Bad. Bernice Burgos. Feel- so you just don't respect right, nobody so that's fake. Here, here's you don't give no uh, It's just you lose a lot of points. I give Kardashian. I give Kardashian. I feel like you compare apples to oranges. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, just, yeah. I feel like you can't bro. compare Bernice to... To her. Why I can't? Just because she's fake? No, no, I didn't say that. I so said it's like comparing apples. I feel like they have two different looks. Like I can't say. I, I don't know. That's how I feel with. Doc, she got this look when like, you I look at like, you, it's just like damn. Like, uh, uh, but you like, do the same thing with Bernice. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, with Bernice. Bernice fuck. Is she no, we're not doing with Bernice. Hip hop Bernice. No, it's no, no, no. Bernice I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, like, I don't know. I don't know. That's to me. That's like comparing Beyonce and Rihanna. Like they're both. Beyonce look better. Rihanna sexier. Can we? 
Huh? What is happening threat. here? Rihanna's more Rihanna excited. Rihanna got more sex appeal. Like, she does. Oh. Rihanna does have sex appeal. But see, this is what I'm talking about. But Rihanna looks better, though. Right, so, listen, listen. Yeah. Listen, like, who's, the leading, who's the leading sex symbol right now? Beyonce. No. <laughs> or Kim, Rihanna, or Kim Kardashian. No. I would say Rihanna. The no, leading. Yeah, the leading Rihanna. Actually, they right all now? been chilling. Lately, that's Kim, what I'm saying. They've been dropping no random, yeah. Megan. Inches. A lot of people would say make the style. Megan. Megan. A lot of people she would say make the style. Fact. She is. She or uh, Megan. What's the what's, what's, what's her name? Um, who? Oh, Campbell. Anyway, Megan, rapper, female rapper. Megan the Stallion. Megan Stallion. No, not her. Are you talking about? Oh, Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. She might be. Uh, she might be. Uh, What's up, Cardi? Well, I'll say Megan, Megan right and there's my point. I can. No, just there's sure. plenty of Instagram tricks right. better than Megan. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to forget her name. Right? Oh. So what like, happened? There's plenty of Instagram tricks that's better than Megan Stop or whatever. Uh-huh. Of course, of course. Yeah. Because of all in all, these bitches look the same. Right. Wow. I just that's what I feel like. Right. I didn't mean to call them bitches, but all these all these girls. You talking about me? Why are you calling them like bitches? Like? Right. I didn't mean to say that, but I just feel like everybody got the same. Was it liquor in the eyeball? <laughs> oh, she thought she was getting away. Oh, you know, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? This, this is a question I thought about. Um, shout out to, to Hov, greatest rapper of all time. Go mm-hmm. shit. For sure. If, oh, shit. if Beyonce releases any nudes, do you think that will, like, kill? Like, that will be the, like, that will just erase everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yes. She's Beyonce. Yeah, right, okay. She's Beyonce really break the internet yesterday She's just for Beyonce. looking Not at a white girl. Not even just looked at a white girl. Do you think that will be the, like, that will just put everyone yes. else to shame? Like, yes. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, he, I think he's talking about fire news, though. Mm. Not just news coverage. News for, any news from Beyonce is fire news. So they could be, because no. they could absolutely be some trash the news. news. There's no such thing as trash news from Beyonce. If Meg's news. Because it never happened. If Meg the Stallion news. They could be some trash news. Get exposed, she's gonna break the fucking internet. Like, nah, literally. I gotta be a sex tape. Yeah, yeah for Meg the Stallion. Beyonce, yeah. Listen, because the thing about Meg the Stallion is all she Beyonce do, news could listen crash. That would, no, that Beyonce is definitely gonna saying. break the internet. She's that's what I'm she saying. She did it when she had twins. Like, that's she's definitely breaking the internet. Yeah, just, uh, never mind. Definitely. Nipple just yeah. side yeah. boob. Side boob. Beyonce will break the internet, bro. So imagine what nipples would do. Yeah. Yeah, she's Beyonce. That's That's and I was Beyonce. just asking, just based off of everything else that happened, you know, Beyonce is the only one that we really haven't seen stuff like that from. Like, you know what I mean? Because like, she's smart very true. about her shit. And I understand, yeah, but smart. Or she corny. releasing that or would she be what? smart. Or she corny? No, she not. No, she not. No, she not. I actually uh, have a theory. I think Beyonce gonna whack for real, for real. I've always thought that. Like you just whack is it like her body or like just her like, 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 like demeanor? Her vibe, her aura. Have you watched Homecoming? I watched it. Great documentary. Well, <laughs> Beyonce is attractive, time, clearly, but it's like, yeah. first of all, she always sounds like an airhead to me. Huh? Always seem kind of off. Oh, Beyonce? Shit, niggas dude. gonna be right She on a different <laughs> frequency, bro. She on a different frequency. There's gonna be a whole bunch of bumblebees in your shit right there. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, but she, you know, she clearly attractive, but like... you, She don't do it for you. Nah, outside her just looking good. It's plenty girls that look good, but like, nah, it's like some of the, I don't know, I don't know. It really didn't do it to me until I seen home. But you know what? I, 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 I'm I not saying, I don't think was, Rihanna's an attractive, but she got sex appeal. That, and that, that's my point. A lot of people will argue that you can be bad but not have sex appeal. Facts. You can be bad and not have sex appeal. You can be bad and not have sex appeal. Okay, yeah, I can agree. Like Alicia Keys. Oh, shit. She's bad. I never yeah. that. But. The sex appeal. You can be beautiful. Not, yeah, attractive. Beautiful. You can generally be generally attractive. Yeah, generally attractive. What's, what's, generally attractive. Yeah. what's the joint basketball wife name? Um. Oh, uh, Gabrielle Union. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> it's a literal basketball wife. Aisha. We're talking about Aisha. Aisha. Aisha's attractive. She's, she's, she's Aisha beautiful, Aisha. but her she's sex so appeal is trash. Her swag is on yeah. zero. Trash. trash. So. Yeah. Jesus. Her How mom, about this? This was Curry's mom. What? I'll definitely hit the curry mom before I hit Aisha. That's sad. She does. Yeah. She does. Man, it's, it's a cold world. How about this? Black. Man. Did y'all see Ma or y'all want to see Ma? Ma. I want to see. Did you see it? I didn't see no. it. Uh, it Octavia looks, Spencer. It very, it, I, it so, I have a thing I'm where I'm shit. tired of all our black actresses getting the worst roles. Like It's, it's like they only role. get the romantic comedies or something. Even though a lot of those be trash too. The ones they try to be edgier, like No Good Deed, or The Perfect Guy, or The Intruder, the or same type movie. The Perfect Stranger. Nah, nah. It's no, like no, they be no, mad. No, no, like, no, no, you're no, not no, including. Nah. Sorry, you. 
Viola Davis, oh, uh, Widows cry. was mid. Widows like, was okay. Listen, I listen, 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 listen. What's amazing. the what's the what's the name of the movie where it was NASA all black? It was NASA. It was um. Oh, Hidden Figures. Great. Hidden oh, Figures yeah. was good. That was good. That was good. You know what? I didn't, I didn't watch it because I thought it was overrated. Because yeah. everyone, oh, no, no, that was good. Like, it's history. Really push things to be overrated, man, and it's just like how's it overrated? It's history. It's history. No, what I'm saying is, I'm talking. About, I'm not talking about history. I'm talking about general movies. Like yeah, people yeah, can yeah. push things Feedback. to be overrated. Yeah, it was good. Watch it. It was good. It was good. Right. It was good. I didn't see it. it. I didn't see it. Not because I didn't want to. Just Dang, she I'm ready. She like. <laughs> I know. She's saying the tag. Listen. Okay. Anyone else? Um. What was that? What was that? You talking about uh, black women movies and films, yeah. hidden figures? Oh well, I don't really like. Uh, I don't really like. I don't get Octavia Spencer like that. Really? I don't get it. What's that thing? She always she's typecast as like the mom. <laughs> she's so when she get this cast, shouldn't it fit? Ma isn't? Yeah, I mean, like, I thought Ma was gonna be at least okay. It wasn't okay. Well, I didn't see it yet, but I thought I didn't. I think uh, it, I, I'm, I'm hearing it's. I'm I have no care. I'm, like, I'm hearing it's. it's I am it's, not it's, You know, it, it came out already. Yeah. So I'm hearing it's actually doing well. I yeah. heard the opposite. You heard the opposite. I've, I've heard, heard it's not. Good yeah, I've heard is and mixed okay. reviews to say the least. Like, <laughs> all right, I wasn't looking for it. I'm always. I would have sold it for one of my what I call it, Nagger specials. I go see Yo, what? Nagger. Nagger special. He's been saying that since. What Holy the fuck is shit, it? nigga? What I've been saying that since middle school. Yeah, well, what is <laughs> this? Like, but um, it's, it's you know, na- what a nagger is. Nagger when you be in like nagger. bigger <laughs> shit, whatever. But a nagger special, you go to the movie theater the, and see at least two. Oh, movies. You, you, oh, you hopping? Movie hopping. Oh, okay. <laughs> Recently, I did that when I saw uh, Aladdin, John Wick. Oh, you saw oh, Aladdin and Brightburn. Is Aladdin? I wanted to see five. But well, my girl coming back and she a weak link because these bitches. Yeah, is Aladdin it. good? Aladdin. That's your man Will Smith. I know. I Aladdin was, was uh, decent. Uh, I, I, I want to see Aladdin. Will Smith. I want to see I will say Will wasn't one of my, you know, biggest problems with I feel like, I don't think like, is it like just the way this look is the problem? Or is this just, just a movie where right. it's too right. visual right. to, to add that to it advantage? Like. Quick question, quick question. Because we do this on my podcast real quick. Aggressive, this, aggressive, uh, passive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denzel or Will Smith? Denzel. Denzel. And Will Smith is my professor. Is like he he's like someone I'm chasing after. Like I, I wanna be I wanna be him, you know what I'm saying? But I never have a bias like if like Denzel. we'll get to Chris Brown, I hope. But Chris Brown. Will Smith no though he's my he favorite human face. <laughs> Denzel's my favorite too, but though Will Smith is like number one on my list, I will never Ever, 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 like, just, uh, I will never fail to say who's better when it comes to skill. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, skill, yeah, yeah. Denzel, Acting. no yeah. one, no one, I'm saying, like, no one is touching Denzel. Nobody. So heavy game. Nobody. Denzel, Nobody's touching my dad. No, facts. Like, no one, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's yeah. what to facts, me, man. Like, no, nah, man. Like, like, nigga for and, like, oh, nigga. Fight me. And like, and, and not to Fight like, me. not to name drop. Well, we already dropped his name, but I, I worked with Denzel on mm. like for fences. Oh, this nigga, show personal him. actor. Okay. No, oh, okay. Stuff, he said I was out. next. Oh, he said I was check there. I'm next. Oh, he said I was there, nigga. Denzel Jr. To see somebody in their process is different than yeah. see them while they're performing. The process, you get to see exactly who they are, how they work, how they prepare, everything. Everything, you know what I'm saying, and to see that, I was like, no one's touching this man. Yeah, Literally, yeah, no one's over. No one, yeah, man. I love no him so much. Mm-hmm. Facts, like, um, how are this? So, fellas, yes, sir. Talking about black girls. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you say you've been typically or uh, generally attracted to a certain shade of complexion? It's crazy, but I feel like we. We're kind of trained to, in a way. Talk about it. Talk about it. And it's bad. It's real bad. I was out with my homie the other day. And he like, yo, man. 
I just, I just want to get a. He said, I just want to get a light skin joint. Da, da, da. He was like, that's bad, huh? And I was like, yes, nigga, that is bad. Like, we should not have to think like that. Yeah, I saw my man. Beauty like, is beauty. I've been defending fad for the past few like months and shit. Why? Everybody hate fad now. Why are you, why are you defending fad? I'm not going to be in the Nigga, fad okay. is trash. Well, have I'm you seen okay. this shit? We're that he not going to get into this. <laughs> that's like a New Jersey nigga. What's but happening? lately. Today, he actually wrote to yesterday. He said, yeah, you know, he was talking about the when they see his shit. It was the most trash tweet ever. He was like, yeah, I remember I was 11, and I didn't understand what's going on because I was too preoccupied with certain things like basketball and light-skinned girls. Uh, and this and that. And I was reading shit. Like, I read shit like, I read that shit for like one minute straight. Such a 60, so I was like, uh, why would you prefer, like, why yeah. would you specify the light skin? That is yeah. trash, bro. Well, yeah. That thought process is trash, but we all go through it. So, yeah. when I was... <clears throat> oh, no. Can you actually cut me off? I'm sorry. No. It's your show, son. It's here. No, it's <laughs> your show. Oh. And I'm going to give you your flowers. Okay. In a little bit. What kind of flowers? I mean, I'm not going to say roses. <laughs> <laughs> but when I, was young, man, roses? when I was younger... Toxic! Man, listen, when I was younger, I had a conversation with my mom, and I said, Mom, I want to date somebody... I want to date a girl who's light skin, has green eyes, and curly hair. Jesus mm. Christ. Crystal Westbrooks. Right? <laughs> I know her. I know her. I know her. And yeah. she literally had the same <laughs> face that she, fa- face reaction that you had. For the queen. And she was just like, you know, she basically was just like, you know, I can't remember exactly what she said. But like you said, we all go she, through it. Smack, you know what I mean? We, we, we. At a young age, whether it's well, because it's of the music media, videos, music videos, all we that think shit, that bro. that's what it. All of that you know shit. what I mean? All of that shit. But today, you see, y'all see us? Yes. Of Lupita Yango is the most beautiful black woman I've ever seen in my life. I disagree. You disagree? You know he problematic. You know <laughs> he so is problematic. You know he pro- You know he. But I don't. I don't. I don't. I, honestly, I would you agree with that though. I would agree with it. I, I agree feel with like him. he be trolling. He's problematic, but I agree with him. Troll. I agree with him. I agree with him. Man, I feel like he be trolling. That's just, I mean, that's trolling, but I agree with him. I do. I agree. Man, me and Lupita don't do it for me. Actually, Lupita's in the list of people that no shade, hot take alert, calm down, relax, all that shit. She ought to pay me to fuck her. I'm just saying. That don't mean I think I'm the baddest thing ever, oh, but that means you I'm, absolutely do. No, what the fuck are the statement? But, First of all, women say show the time, but a man say like, "Oh, you think you?" I don't think I'm the. I don't think I'm the best of the thing, but I have standards. Everybody's entitled to have standards. So you don't fit in my standards. If if Lapita wasn't an actor, if she wasn't nobody, if she was just walking down the street, of course, you would just be like, "I'm not touching." I'm not interested. But if you want to fuck me, yeah, you got to cut me a trick for that. Jesus Christ! If I see her on the scene, I'll be like. I go like she threw it at me. She like, Hollowworth. Like, I'm cool. Like I'm oh, fine. God, like, man, you. I hope that doesn't sound like Jesus. stereotypical. But no, nah, like I, I was just like, wow, wow. She got a nice guy. Wow. So I got nice So what? Like, my, like, my, like, my, talk to me the routine real quick. What are you? What is your attraction like? Do you typically go for? You just like, you use said, the same complexion. Yeah, about to say. Yeah. Your girlfriend is dark skin. Dark skin. Yeah. Dark skin. Beautiful black. That's why I'm so comfortable in my takes. <laughs> you know, shout out to that white person. I got a black friend. When they start saying some racial shit. Oh my god! Wow. Oh man, my I girl. love black people. I, I have know, black. I have black, black friends. friends in the same same thing. I know black people. Yeah. I know. Oh, yeah, my girl, she dark skinned and African, whatever. But yeah, like you know. So, again, hot take alert. Unpopular opinion. Prep the da with that shit, whatever. Me personally, like if I had to tally all the girls I, I ever seen in my entire life, I thought were ugly. The percentage. Okay. I've seen all shades of ugly. I know a lot of ugly lights and girls. <laughs> but the most of them I think were ugly were in the part of the dark skin shade. Where the what? Were in the dark skin shade. It uh, doesn't mean I think all dark skin girls are ugly. That means the girl I thought were ugly. <laughs> Talent. But that's another but see that's I don't the thing. Think, that's, also, that's I would say this. Why. I wasn't yo, I've been right ra- I was right, raised but, by a super light skinned mom looking like Gina from Mario. Right, but see, My mom's the most pro like, black. Yeah. She's, right, a, but hold up, she's the most pro black person ever right, than me. So I never had her. I never, I never. To be honest, like, like I rarely dated or even messed with any white girls. Like, I've never even had that phase of like, I think white girls are the bad. Thing. Like, I never went through that or whatever. But oh yeah, like. But see, this is I never went through that. But complex. this is part of this is part of. What I think I'm to saying, be honest, like, even the micro girls, I think brown skin girls it's because all they do is they throw it in front of us. No music videos, movies, all of that shit. Bro, they do. I think brown skin girls yeah. are like if I had to tally, I think the best one I've ever seen were brown skin. I think that's like the best shade. So if I had to tally it, brown skin, 
not light or dark. So I don't think I'm like conditioned in a sense. You are. I think we are. I'm not rule. No, I think I think we, we are. Society, society, we are. Society, we are. Society, we are. But I think I'm like you. We like, are. Because bro, we women. used to watch the Nelly videos. What he used to throw in front of yeah. us. Yeah. There were dark skin girls in there. There were there were, there were, there were brown skin, dark skin girls in there for sure. But for the most part, looking at. Nelly, Ja Rule, yeah. 50 Cent. They would just throw I would say there's more Latin girls in the videos now than there are back then. You it's said Latin girls are what? I think they're more like mixed or Latin girls now than they were back then. Like in the early, like speaking of Nelly, 50 era, I think they had plenty of brown girls. Brown or dark girls. What like, that, what, Buffy the Body was popping. She was black uh, as shit. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Women have a preference too, though. Of course they do. Women are the most preferential, shallow people ever, nigga. Like, nigga, you got a five foot. Don't talk to me, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you yeah, blonde, are. don't are talk to me. God, if you broke, nigga, don't look <laughs> my way. If you got a little dick, don't even speak to Women me. Judge, so it's, it's like, I, that's why I don't care it's when right. I have my, because everybody got preference. It's okay. Absolutely. Like, as long as you're not, like, as long as you really not on some selfish shit, I feel you yeah. have the right to be, say what you want to say. My mom used to say, true. like, you know, she was never in the light skin beats. It is never. what it is. Never. Never. You know I mean? And to me, that's better than I say nothing dark skin people. <laughs> that's the white side. <laughs> that's the way <women's> side. <laughs> I rebuke you. I rebuke you, really. Like, <laughs> no, I rebuke you. <laughs> rebuke. Y'all are trash. Y'all are really trash. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. Of course. Oh, I am bad. I ain't never seen a black <laughs> Crazy, Wait, we over here like. Yeah, hey, hey, <laughs> what's what's like, 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 um, <laughs> how about this? So, lady, yeah. miss, yeah. I asked a question I did before, but I didn't really get the reception I wanted. Is there anything that men wear that you just don't like? Like, certain things you don't like that men wear? Like, uh, certain trends? Fucking vest. Vest? Damn, what the fuck? Vest? The, 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 the bulletproof bullet vest? vest? Oh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. No, that shit's stupid as hell. That shit's cool. Shout out to the best. That shit stupid as hell. Torture. Nigga, shut the fuck up with your torture vest, nigga. You really wear a bulletproof vest? I'm like, you ain't even getting shot at. You ain't never been in a fight in your life. You got a bulletproof vest. Bulletproof vest? Oh, look at Westchester. What what vest are you talking about? The bulletproof vest. Oh, the bulletproof vest. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn. That? That's a thing? Yeah. 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 In Philly? Yes. Yes. Everywhere. Not just Philly, but it's here. No, I said Philly for sure. For sure. I'm saying, but it's it's always everywhere, too. I, 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 I. Agreed. I don't know what's up with that. I don't yeah. know who niggas. I don't know if niggas think somebody after them so, or so, that shit corny. So, so question, question. No, question. No, I'm looking for you. <laughs> question, question, you question. Doing? Do you feel like, let's say you're in a relationship with somebody and you don't like they swag when you mm. first talk to them? I have a theory that all women change men. Baby, do you feel like you could? Mm. Do you feel like you could upgrade that? Men change women. But this too. is the same thing, though. I was about to ask that, though. I was about to ask that. Do you feel yeah. like y'all could do that? Or yes. Or do you feel like? And we're be stuck in their ways. We're a good man. I think it depends on who the Close person though? is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It depends on who the person I've is. I've seen it. Oh I tried to change something and it didn't work, and I was just like, "Why?" I, I th- this is what I was saying. I think women are naturally into that. Yeah. And I think men aren't. Some men are can be, but I think I like women are like me. I like, dealt with girls where certain things I didn't like, and that was just my det- like deterrent to not cuff you. And so, like, if you can't dress, I'd rather not cuff Damn. you. Where a woman be like, you know what? I can work with this. Yeah. I, 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 can, I can fix this. Like, I think women be thinking about it. They, they, they naturally go into fix them up mode. Damn. I think most men be like, no. Nah. Yeah. But we're in 2019. Nah. A lot of things have come back into style. Like, the whole, like, the whole, like, um, homeless looking look. For sure. Shout out to Kanye. Facts. Like the hipster. Like, or? nothing is not in style now. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. It's different, but, but it depends on when, what era we're talking about. Like, What's something you upgraded from a guy before? Something like, yeah, it wasn't really working for me. Huh. Um, that's an excellent question. Can I try. You, can you come back? Wow, can excellent question, back? but I feel <laughs> Listen, y'all, are you, it was you upgraded this, for it was a girl? This right. one, it was this one girl, right? And, and she she was nice. She was dark skin, right? Mm. Ooh, right? Ooh. I was a dark skin queen. So she was really nice, everything. She had a great personality, but her swag is just not. She used to wear like like the Kentucky Derby hats everywhere we went. I'm like, yo, let's go get And that was in like yeah, is the it? Kentucky Derby, the big the church hats. Oh, okay. Easter Sunday hats. Did she go to church? 
No, we right. was going to go get water ice, nigga. Gotcha. Like, I'm like, why are you oh, wearing that? Yeah, see, I'm just and I was just like, yo, like, can we just, can you go in and change? You was a king king. Okay. And she was like, no, da, da, da. So, like, <laughs> after, like, a good two weeks, uh, it's like talking. And she was a good person, but I just had to cut it loose because I was not feeling that way. I Is that bad? No. It didn't fit your standards. Right. It's nothing okay. See, only men feel bad when we like, damn, like. No, women do shit. You, you know Yo, they niggas, do it all the time, bro. Even here, no, nigga, you ain't meet up. I ain't what, lowering what, what, the bar. What, what, it's low enough for y'all niggas. You goddamn right. Wardrobe <laughs> will never be. I could have missed out though. I, didn't I, mean, I had a deal, I had a I had a wardrobe deal breaker. Really? Sure, before. I, I look at yeah. sneakers the first time I meet a guy. Mm. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah. 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 You don't talk to me. If you got sneakers, some, you got some bullshit. You got some sketches. Sneakers are literally the first thing. <laughs> first things I look at. Like it doesn't matter who you are, man or female, mm-hmm. man, male or female. Um, I look at feet. So that's something that's okay. So back to what's yeah, something okay. that you changed before? Hell, what? I think oh. we all did. Right? Oh. What did he say? <laughs> foot feathers. He asked me if I got foot feathers. Do you guys? He's. I think we all did. Do you do? Don't put that. Like not, Don't put no, that. Don't project. Don't project. Hold on. Wait. 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 Like not Which like, like I have in love with feet, but so like feet, feet can feet. Be, can be a deal breaker. You like pretty feet? I mean, like I feet. you have to. Like, <laughs> I you love. You have to have a woman that has pretty feet. Not necessarily, because I date like, a lot of dancers. It's a plus. It's a plus. Yeah, this hygiene is really big for me. Don't hygiene. Worry. If your hygiene is bad, then that's like all right. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you yeah. bite your nails and it's like ah, goodness, oh my gosh. <laughs> he's stressed. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Very so nearly done now. Flashbacks. <laughs> he's not the best of But you know, it's not. I've never been with a person who had bad, like, nail problems. Yeah. But I just, you know, in general, I just be around and I just see, you know, women with who bite their nails to, like, the... I've never yeah. seen a girl that bite her nails before. Literally, I've never seen a girl that bite her Yeah, I, I, I know a few. I've seen, I used to bite here. I bite my nails. Like, like to the point. No, right, that's fine. The, but if you bite down to like, if you got a half a oh, nail. Oh, you talking about little nubs. Yes. Yeah. Like monkey Like Sonali Lathan. Oh, my. Sonali Lathan got those? Sonali Lathan got you those. You are fucked up thumb, thumb, bro. <laughs> Yo, she, she got the fucked up thumb, bro. I didn't think that shit crazy. Y'all trying to tell me that 96 better than the new shit? Everybody just listen to the flow. Everybody got monkey claws. Everybody that's listening right now. Everybody that's listening right now. Stop. Go to Nia Long. Yeah, it's not Thumb. No, no, it's not Nia Lathan. It's not Nia Lathan. Don't you dare say Nia Lathan. Not Nia Long. Not Nia Long. We got the mic off. My fault. Sonia Lathan. Thumb. Yeah. Bro. Hurt. But Sonia Lathan has actually elevated. What? In, in like. She got better thumbs? <laughs> what? She got thumb surgery? <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Surgery. Just <laughs> overall, like, like, appeal. Like, she. she so you know, she cut all her hair off? I think Gabriel Ewing's mm-hmm. better than she did when she was in her 20s. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I agree with that. I agree with that. Okay. I don't remember being on Bobby. Bobby, yo, you look good like, yeah. for your age. Yeah, Gabriel Ewing yeah. is. Parentheses. She's. j Lo looks worse. Yeah. It's, yeah, I can say that. I can't, I can't say agree. someone looks worse when they're in their forties because, like, you're not supposed to look better than you were in your twenties. So, that, like, I can't. Well, but still, but still. Because but still. Jada Pickett Smith. Angela Bassett. I don't think Angela Bassett is, what? is a problem Auntie right Jada? now. I think Jada and set it off. No, uh, Jason's lyric, Jada. Uh, no, that was prime she Jada. She was right a baby, there. bro. She, I mean, come on. Like, I can't say Jada now, now the girl she did back in Jason's lyric. No, nah, I can't roll with Jada that. Pinkett. Mother of Dragons type, like, bro. You like Daenerys? Okay. I like uh, Daenerys. I, I respect probably. Daenerys. She popping. But I respect you like Daenerys. the way she looks. Like I know some people that are like obsessed with how yeah, she. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like beautiful that. with her blonde hair. I mean, cool. Short hair and it's just what short, her, it's, short, short, it's short, her short, actions. Anything. It's her yeah. actions that are just like she pop. Lady Stark. I respect Lady Stark. Sansa or the mom. <coughs> nah, no, 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 Lady Stark. Sansa. Now, Sansa in, in person no. is better than Sansa. Nah, no, who's, who's, who's the curly head? Um, and she wears Sandy. black Air Forces. Black Sandy. Yeah, uh, she pretty. Who? Miss Sandy. The, the oh, Miss Sante. Don't, yeah. don't sleep on. Um, That's why I'm like, who? Yeah. Marjorie. Don't sleep on Marjorie. Don't yeah. sleep on Cersei. Don't sleep on Marjorie. Cersei. Did she die already? Come on, stop. Relax. 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 You plan. Relax. Relax. Did she die? What were we talking about? We, I'm sorry. I keep taking it. He started talking about Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett but we talking about the um no no the original topic what was the original the original topic, topic was what was the original topic I don't remember the 90s versus now no, no. no. you are gonna wait that <laughs> anyway did you have put the shameless yeah you guys did you have enjoyed the conversation like, 
Yeah, no, the real conversation was why, why I'm an actor. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but did you guys enjoy something with the conversation today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We done? Yeah. That's it, man. We ain't talking about Chris Brown? Bro, we got to. Uh, Chris Brown, is he the GOAT or no? He's it's, the GOAT, bro. Go? No. He's the GOAT. Who's better? You said no. Then Chris Brown? Yes. Usher. Bro, if you don't. Are you sure you So this is my fear about Chris Brown versus Usher. Bro. I think Usher's best seven and ten songs are better than Chris Brown's best seven and not ten now. songs. Not since yes. Heartbreaking a Fool. Just in not general. Now. Just not in general. Now. But the Chris Brown. Brown has more better songs, though. So Wait, what? Then that contradicts yeah, what you just said. No, I'm saying you, if you don't take your, if you take their best ten songs. Like for instance, I know it's better. Chris okay, got a better yeah. song than like like his best song and better. You got a bad. You don't have to call. You remind me. Burn. Uh, nice. He don't have a song better to me. Blue but, Flame is better than Burn. Not a rule. Nah, 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 not a rule. But to me, Chris so has better. Chris he has songs. more songs. Like Chris, Usher had that many. He many. Chris got so much music. Right, so he's better. So he has like a. That doesn't make him better. better. Right, right, right. I can see it both ways. Yeah. Like it's like Usher got the he got more A pluses, I guess, but he has a bunch of Fs. Who gonna sell out Arena? Chris Brown or, or, or Usher? Chris Brown. All right. Well, right now, because Chris All Brown right. is younger. Nah, no, 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 no. When Chris Brown first. Chris Brown is younger. Hit, Chris Brown back in 2008 would have sold out a re- arena uh, faster than Usher. I'm telling you that. Well, are we talking about Usher when he first started? Usher, okay, 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 how about this? Okay, Chris, Chris, so Chris, Chris, so Chris Usher Prom, was sold out before so Chris. Chris Prom is what? Sold out? Okay, all right. Uh, so Chris Prom is what? Yeah, forever he, he or fail? Down. Which one? Pick one, real quick. Chris Brown's uh, Prime? Prime. Like, Prime, Prime would be, uh, I would say, I would say forever. I say fame. Okay, so let's go forever. All right. He's not touching Usher and Confessions. That's a he false really statement. Not. He's I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Stop playing with me, man. That's funny. Stop playing me. Chris Brown. What? Chris Brown. If she said what? If that you got it bad, my nigga. Like, it's just Damn. levels. Like, it's just different. Damn. It's different. Again, go, go back and listen. I to hear it. your point because yeah. Chris got so yeah. much music it's features, right? but uh, it's like Usher got to uh, select ten songs uh, that just like, uh, it's like it's different. Like, say goodbye is better than Confessions, bro. Are you on crack? Nah, I, I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm tell you, you know, once you're in Hollywood, you start doing that coke. That being like, you the, know, everybody in Hollywood the coke. This nigga was hanging out with Denzel, bro. bro. Yo, yo, yo. Bobby Bumps Brown, official. method actor. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You might be I, on I was drugs. trolling. I was trolling with the, you might be with on the, with the profession. But what I'll, what I'll say is this. What I'll say is this. Forever. That forever prime, right? Mm-hmm. Chris mm-hmm. Brown, if that trouble didn't occur, mm-hmm. and that's a separate conversation for another episode or whatever, whatever. Chris Brown was about to be with what Justin Bieber was like, oh, if, nigga, what? You know what I'm you saying? To Justin Bieber? No, 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 no. Michael Jackson. I'm, I'm not comparing like, him to Justin Bieber. Bieber was, but Bieber got like three albums. Bieber was like, Bieber got rich Bieber, forever. <laughs> bro, Bieber was huge. He was, he was. He Chris was Brown so was huge. on the verge of becoming that. Of like that, there big. would be no Bieber if 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 Chris Brown wasn't because Chris is more important. But Bieber literally did more oh numbers though. Gosh, like, you know that pop white world. It's crazy. Bieber had hits. Bieber no, had hits too. Had hits. Not more than Chris. Not more than Chris. Not more than Chris. But you can't sleep on Bieber though. Bieber was sure, sure, Bieber's sure. that boy. I love that Purpose album. That's yeah, album. Pur- Purpose was fire. Yeah. But um, okay, yeah, so, yeah. So heartbreaking the full moon. I'm gonna say it again. Classic. 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 Forty-seven songs, at least forty, at least thirty-eight was fire. Yeah, thirty-eight was fire. Fuck y'all, that ain't yeah. finished yet. That was yeah, two yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, in the weekend, you know what I'm saying? All these people. That's just said forty-three. I said forty-seven. From library. I think I heard one song. Come on. I used to see you from the other side. Yes, talk about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to say this too. I new album coming out. I'm kind of nervous though, to be June honest. June 21st. Kind of June 21st. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's crazy because it, it's funny how, it's not funny, but it, it sucks how one situation can really determine how the rest of your career goes. Chris Brown, after fame, should have gotten at least three other Grammys. He got like, we got one. He got one. There's our little sister. So, one of the reality things, he did a bunch of the DK shit as well. That's why I pulled it. He did. 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 I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why. Because when I love when people in the NBA, I'm considered a light skin. It's so weird. It's so weird. But this is why I am a Chris Brown stan or whatever you, you, whatever, what have you. Chris Brown was one of the reasons why I realized what it was that I wanted to do in life, you know what I mean? Being an entertainer, whatever, whatever, whatever. Chris Brown, I didn't have 
anybody to look up to really. Yeah. And as far as the arts was concerned, and when Chris Brown came out in two thousand five, that was that was like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying. That's shit. Like the Facts. Model, don't you? I feel the same that's who I looked up to. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> <You're shit. laughs> you know, and, and the rest is history. But I, that's the reason why I don't like the weekend now because I feel like. I don't listen to the weekend. You know, they're just, they're purposely giving all these people the flowers and the Grammys because they just purposely don't want to give it to Chris Brown. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. The, that's an interesting take. I'm going to leave it at that because right. Weekend's okay. my guy. He's I feel like, it. Okay. Yeah, I thought we were going to get it. Also, gonna get also another you. young goat. To me, yeah. the young yeah. goats are Bruno, Weekend, and Chris. Yeah. Just leave it at that. But all y'all enjoying a good conversation. Yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Y'all come back, we good. Of course, hey, bro. What? Of course. Even though I'm allegedly toxic. And you are. Like, no, very toxic. And toxic. Yeah. Hey, listen, but if y'all scream, shot take me, and y'all like, hey, that mug, that big yeah. motherfucker in the corner, I am <laughs> swear to God, Q, you better yeah. give me that number. And in their address. Yeah. Gotcha. Dog. So shout out to Aggressively Passive Podcast. Oh, yeah. Shout out to your art show coming up June 20th. June 29th from 8 to 11 at the Irving Archive. Hey, it's called right. Where Art Thou. Right. And shout out to Paris and all his uh, acting yeah. endeavors <laughs> and his marriage coming up. You, you can find me and uh, you guys watch Queen Sugar. No. Oh, I heard of it. I even watched it. Well, season two, I'll be in uh, episode uh, six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Episode six, I appreciate where I play uh, Terrence, the okay. bartender. In town. But I want to give you your flowers, man, okay. because uh, Point Park University, uh, you kind of created a culture there, too, as far as uh, you innovated the way we even, like, just, just talk and speak. And, and, and like the hot takes, the the like, it's our perception of things, you know what I mean? You started that. You started eating so, it up. Look at him, look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, I have to, I have uh -oh. to say it because I've been around, I've been around a queue, you know, since my freshman year of college, you know what I mean? Until his senior year, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody, <clears> it was a thing to go to Q's, Q's dorm room, play 2K and all that stuff. And it was a vibe, man. That was that was the vibe. Like, you know what I mean? That was really a vibe. <laughs> seriously, seriously, I'm man. Q, I mean, innovator, before he even knew he was an innovator. So this right here <clears throat> is just a confirmation of who and what it he is. was destined to be, man. So appreciate it. I want to shout out you, man. And thank you for, for having me. I mean, and allow me to be on here, man. It's, it's, Thanks for coming and traveling yeah, to the show. One last thing for you, Lisa. What's this One last thing. Quick, go. Did I ever tell you look like Tata? All right. Yes, 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 y